<clears throat> Hello, chat. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes. Guardian stream to top off your. This is your birthday, that guy. Happy birthday, man. Hope it was a good one. Uh, but as, as you can see, yeah, we're, we're diving back into Final Fantasy. I literally just decided on this like 10 minutes ago whether to do it or not. It's like, eh, why not? So, so yeah, Final Fantasy 12, that one everyone forgot about. Except me, I never forgot. Well, I, I never finished it either, to be honest with you. This is the one FF I started playing and never bothered finishing. That didn't know. But, uh, hey. It should be fun, right? It's basically Star Wars in Final Fantasy form. From what I recall of it. What little I recall of it. Mainly I just recall making fun of Vaughn a lot. Which I'm probably gonna do a lot here. Because, let's face it, he's the worst- one of the worst main characters in FF. Mainly because he's forgettable. But first and foremost, let me send out an announcement real quick. Make sure we got Fringe. Did I finish Wonderful 101? No. I, I'll i probably be streaming more Wonderful 101, but I don't want to make it something that I stream back to back every night. Something I come back to every once in a while. No, I'm probably going to treat this game the same way, but who knows about that. But, uh, there we go. Discord sent. Is this for a Sins video? Eventually, yes. I'm not going to be doing it anytime soon, though. I've already done one FF video. Technically, I did two this year. I had FF10 and FF7. But, uh, yeah, this will eventually get turned into a video. Uh, what up, talking about comic book super suits? Uh, I wasn't. What's up, Sly Dante? How you doing? What made me decide to do this? I honestly couldn't tell you. I was literally just looking through my Steam library for something to play tonight. And my eyes landed on it, and I was like, eh, you know what? Why not? I figured, like, doing a research stream. Now that I got actually some hard drive space again, I can actually hold something. Let me quickly also save this YouTube video. Let's get the YouTube friends in here. The normies. You know, I honestly think a lot of my audience could be probably, you know, on YouTube, that is, could be described as normies. It's not a word I use often, but I think in the case of my YouTube channel, it largely is just like normies looking for video game entertainment. Like, what's this Dardigan fella? Yes. He seems very, very funny. I don't know. I'll watch him. Done. Normies alerted. Welcome to Final Fantasy Star Wars Edition. Very much so, actually. Or they, they tried their best, but there's always been a hint of Star Wars in Final Fantasy. This is the game where they just like, you know what, just make Star Wars. But hey, it's probably a better Star Wars game than any... Well, it's probably a better Star Wars movie than any of the recent ones. You remember hearing how I, me talk about how boring this game... Let, let, me, let me rephrase that if I... The main character is boring. The rest of the game is intriguing. It's just very different. It's very political. Uh, it, it's more aligned with, say, Final Fantasy Tactics, and I love Final Fantasy Tactics. But, uh, I, for some reason I never could get into this game when I played it originally on the PS2, and I never bothered finishing it. I think I played about, like, 70% of it, and then I stopped. Balthor's main character? Might as well be. Uh, Vaughn was added last minute to the game because people didn't like Balth Balthazir. Like, uh, he's too old, the Japanese gameplay tester said, so they added Vaughn, and they were like, we're happy now, we like this guy. Do I have a face cam? I have one, but I rarely use it. I had a, you're not gonna make me want to put on, like, makeup and get all dressed up for the stream now, are you? I like being chill and relaxed. But I, I'll, I'll promise I'll use a face cam again relatively soon. Especially since my hair is actually back in order now. I got a haircut, you know, a couple weeks ago, so it's not super long and gross looking. It's humid. Well, it's, it's pretty warm where I live, too. Bosch, you know, Bosch was the old... Well, whoever was the main character originally uh, got, like, pushed back. Because, no, we want this young fella. Am I ever going to play Final Fantasy 1 plus 2 Dawn of Souls? You mean Final Fantasy 1 and 2? Uh, I don't think so. I'm only really a Final Fantasy fan, starting with 6. Like 6, well, I, I like the story of 5, but I've never really played it. I like a lot of the characters in 5. 
And but after that, it's all like a you know blink to me. I only vaguely know about some of them. Make sure I have enough time for the last of it. So I will. I'm making time for that. Finally, an old Final Fantasy game again. Well, we we did FF10 not that long ago, and that was older than this one. You want a remake of Six so badly, huh? Uh, do you mind if you sub? Yeah, sub with whatever you want, man. I, I would actually prefer people to sub with Prime since it doesn't cost you anything extra. Uh, but also, uh, thank you to Paji Pollock, however that's pronounced with all the eyes. Thank you. But yeah, you know, it's perfectly fine. Make sure you enjoy those emotes, man. Hope you all brought your tea as well tonight. You're going to need it. My memory of this game is hazy. I barely recall the beginning of the game, other than, like, really fancy CG. How's my past week been? Uh, pretty good. I finished up my Far Cry 3 script today. So tomorrow I get the, the experience of sitting down for several hours and recording all my lines. That's gonna be fun. Hint, it won't be. Recording lines is honestly one of my the worst parts of it, because I just hate it. I dread it. Have I played one... You know, I'm guessing you left out a word there. Uh, did I beat Wonderful 101? No, we'll play some more of that going forward. I just don't want to make it into a back-to-back -back stream, where I do it until it's done. Something I'll come back to. You know so much about this game. We'll, we'll see if the game jogs my memory of when I played it. This one just didn't stick. Outside of, like, making fun of Vaughn a lot, not a lot of this game stuck with me. Other... Well, there is the bunny girl in it, too. So if, uh... Gotetsu is in chat, he'll have perfect use of his bunny girl ass emote. Maybe that's what convinced me to play this game. Bunny girl. He kept posting the bunny girl ass in chat and emotes. I was like, oh, yeah, that, this game has that. You loved this game. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. We'll get to start playing in just a second. I'm kind of warming up the vocal cords in my funny, my funny parts of my brain. Joe, what do you think the funny parts of your brain look like? If you have it, that is. I think it's sticky. I get the feeling it's a very sticky part. Your main party consisted of Vaughn, Balthazir, and Bolshk. Really, Vaughn? I I just recall this game being... I never could get a handle on the combat system, too, since you got to program an AI in this game. It's weird. You'll see, but... You know all this machine learning stuff? A machine would, would basically be better at playing any of this game since you got to program it to play for you. And it also plays a little bit like an MMO. Combat was fun. I don't think I ever got a hand on it. But there are some really tough boss fights in it. I know that much. But it's probably tough because I sucked at programming my, my gambits, I think they were called. Okay, now, now the memories are coming back. I'm starting to recall some, thing, some words. Terminology. FF12 and Xenoblade, really? Xenoblade was the one with the purple-haired robot waifu, right? And had, like, cutscenes that lasted an hour and a half? You've been curious about this one. You glad I'm streaming? Well, I'm glad you're here to watch me stream it. No, that was sh Shulk. I just know there's a Xeno... Xeno Gears I'm probably thinking of, then. That's Xeno... Okay, there's a Xenoblade, Xeno Saga, and a Xeno Gears. What is with... What... Why do the Japanese keep naming their RPGs Xeno that have no relation to each other? They're completely different series. I think they just like that word Xeno, even though it doesn't really mean much. Like, isn't Xeno, like, Latin for, you know, di alien or something? I'm not, what does Xeno mean in Latin? Someone look that up. I want to know why, what, what it, that literally translates to in each of these cases. How am I doing? I'm doing good. Xeno, relating to Ford. Yeah, so basically, they've all made the same title. Uh, foreign Story is what they call it, if you translate it literally. It doesn't sound as good, does it? Yeah, Foreign Alien. I knew it was Alien something, so... Xeno Gears. So, Foreign Gears. Xeno Saga. Foreign Saga. Come on. Come on. Mm. Hard to remember which game is which now. 
I think they were the same producers. Uh, might have been. I actually think the same. If I'm not mistaken, I think the the guy who made uh, Zeno Gears also made this game, didn't he? I know this is the guy that made the Evil East World, which also includes things like uh, Vagrant Story and Final, and Final Fantasy Tactics. So I'm not sure if he also made Zeno Gears, whichever one that came early on the PlayStation One. Might have been. I don't know. You have to use the fast forward feature when you enter combat. It's a trip. Uh, we'll see. Okay, let me get the. Why is it mine? Right, there we go. All right. So, Chad, are you ready to begin? Will I play Serious Sam? Uh, you mean the new Serious Sam? Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to see more of it first. I've never played a Serious Sam game, but we're ready to begin, Chad. I'm going to start recording. Chat, let us begin the adventure into Star Wars Final Fantasy. It might as well have the opening credit, credit scroll, actually. I know what you are doing. Yeah, I'm going to be looking to chat for a lot of you know, advice on programming gambits. All right, graphic settings. Uh, high, tenant borderless mode, brightness, ad adaptive, 60 frames per second, triple buffer, interesting. Can we make that higher? We cannot. Water shade. High, shadows, oof. Yes, high shadows, please. Character self-shadowing. Everything seems to be on max. Remind me again, what's the best post-processing anti-aliasing? Is it SMA or FF FXAA? I never can recall which one is which, and which one is better. Ambient occlusion, depth of field. Wow, this is this is way better than the FF10 uh, PC version already. Vibration function on, ring shake. You thought you'd said you'd never play it. When I never said I'd never play this. I said I will play it at some point. I just said it wasn't one of my. It's just kind of like a, one of those that I don't remember too well. Speed mode multiplier. I should probably say this is a four, shouldn't I? This is the, the speed mode. Mul bleh, speed mode multiplier will just make it run faster, right? Four X. Can you change these in options anytime you want? So if so, I'll do it once I'm in game. When did I stop watching Dragon Ball? Uh, many years ago. So, yeah, we'll leave it as at 2x for right now, though. Begin. We can just start New Game Plus. In this mode, character levels are high. No, I don't need that. New Game Minus. In this mode, there is no use of experience points. I've never heard of a New Game Minus. Make it fast. The con. Uh, yeah, well, we can change it once we're in, I believe. And yeah, any RPG can get tedious combat. But, uh, start a new game. Let's have a big black bar at the very bottom of our screen for our CG. Look at that Star Wars shot. That is a Star Wars shot. Letterboxing? I don't know if you can call that letterboxing. That's a very weird letterboxing. <clears throat> a bunny girl standing there right off the bat. Everyone in this game will probably have a little bit of Uncanny Valley going on with their face. I recall thinking to myself, it looks like everyone has had botched plastic surgery. Like, every human has these weird plastic surgery eyes. I'm so happy. Wow, T Chad, do you, is it me or do they look like brother and sister rather than bride and groom? It's a bit creepy. Like, wow, I just wanted my husband to look like me. 
this time forth. May the blessings of the gods. All she has to do is like let slip Nissan and like oh what? Keep it in the well they are royals, it could be. Maybe a half brother. On that day, Ramses walked into utter darkness, surrendering himself to it, and emerged glamorous and smooth. There's the real main character, by the way. I like that Eeyore race of people on side, like, oh well. Isn't it weird to believe, to know that our actual games look as good as this game's CG now? Wow, so much progress. And my axe. How many FF games have I played? Six through everything. Six going forward. Though I never beat this one. Like I said, Star Wars. Even regardless, it's just Star Wars. It looks very heavily uh, influenced by the Phantom Menace, if you notice. This might as well be Naboo. This is a prequel to Final Fantasy Tactics, isn't it? This takes place like hundreds of years before Tactics. No? This happens after tactics. Oh. I thought this was like a prequel to it. But then again, things are more advanced, so I guess that would make sense. FF10 is not a prequel to FF7. That's just like a, you know, a little goofy little thing one of the directors of FF10 mentioned. Though they did include like a reference to FF10 and the FF7 remake in a photo in Shinra, you can see like a masked dude who looks like Shinra from FF10 too. You know, I'm always getting asked which games I think need remakes. One of them that I often should you know mention more often is Vagrant Story. Vagrant Story needs a good remake, and that's also said in this universe, I believe. No, it has. It's actually been not confirmed to be a pre prequel to FF7. It's the exact opposite of what you say. There are kind of Gungans. Yes, there are sort of Gungans in this game. Wrong? No, uh, the actual developers have come out and said, no, there is no connection. It was just a goofy little thing the director of that game mentioned, but it actually has no weight to it. Maybe you really want it to be, but it ain't. Am I ever going to play any of the Dissidia games? Probably not. I don't know. Maybe never. I mean, they don't really interest me. such a hot life. See, Chad, you probably thought that guy, that that, that really good looking, you know, main character looking dude was going to be the hero. He just got shanked by an arrow. Timeline goes Tactics, Advance, FF12, FF14. Where does, uh, uh, where does, uh, shit, what was that game I just mentioned a second ago? That I wanted a remake of? Where does that fall into the timeline? Vagrant story. Where does that vagrant stories in this world too? I'm guessing vagrant story is closer to FF tactics. 
I think we need a prequel to FF Tactics that shows the old act, so it goes even further back. Blessings of the Great Father descend and guide your bodies return to the Earth. Great Father, guide your spirits return to the Mother of All. There you shall find peace. How do they make that technology so advanced and still fight with swords and arrows? Well, they're still fighting with swords in FF7 too, just by having all that advanced technology. They just like swords. And hey, when you add magic to it, I guess it's still plausible. There's many quests. This is kind of the Final Fantasy where they feel like, okay, we want to make these into movies. So this one has way more, way, even more so than 10. They're like, okay, make it cinematic. The kingdom of Darnaska. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmaska had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalice. Arcadia in the east, Rosaria in the west. The invasion of the kingdom of Nebradia was Arcadia's first You guys all better be remembering this, it's going to be on the test. March. Dalmaska, tiny country in between the two. We're basically fantasy Poland. To put it simply. And we're just being fought over by Germany and Russia. Destruction of the greater part of Dalmasca's forces. A counterattack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca, ever brave and faithful. But against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, offering terms of peace, or, as one might rather put it, terms of Dalmasca surrender. Lord Romanos, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbana Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation fix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The King had scarce departed his royal city of... It's a bit heavy to hit you over there with all this all, the, all at once at the beginning, isn't it? Return, ...and not a moment too soon, for a terrible revelation awaited them. The treaty would be signed with steel and writ in royal blood. Hmm. Okay, R. Martin, good line. You love the world of this game. It is a well-developed world. It just, you there. for some reason, it never stuck me when I was younger, you when I played it. I think it's all down to the main character. He just fear, doesn't fit. They're slowing us down. Do not say that. Not all of us are here for love of battle. He fights. Everything is better when Patrick Stewart, you know, reads it. Your name? Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Good. Rex. The Yuri Lowenthal in yesterday. A few cuts, but you are still whole. Well, this game has good voice acting, stand. though. I'll give it that. <clears throat> and it still looks good for a PS2 game. Think you can fight? I'm well, fine, PS2 sir. game up res into your current How generation, but you, Rex? not that far behind FF13. 17, sir. Young. Family? My brother is all I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I, living in Rabanaster. Hey, self gone. Thank you for the sub. One year, baby. You're barely old enough to be a man. You shouldn't be forced to wield a sword. No, sir. I want to fight for my homeland. See, so, so look at their plastic surgery eyes. Every single character has them. I'm not sure why, but the character designer loves plastic surgery faces. Everyone looks like they just came back from a, a two-week vacation to South Korea to have uh, some work done. Bustle, go ahead. I will handle this rabble. Was it a, the, the eyes of PlayStation 2 limitation? No, is the character designer has this you know thing for that kind of eye, eye, eyeballs? Like every game he's ever done has a look to it. I like that they paired your, your heavy knight armor up with a pair of your shorts. 
a good look. Keep your wits about you and you'll make it. Page, fetch my chainmail and my swimming trunks. I'm going into battle. You must always be mindful of your surroundings. Use R to look around. A useful way to spot Imperials. Go on, give it a try. See, look at that. He's wearing shorts. Use left stick to move Rex. Walk or run with left stick. So, I could only find the red and white swimming trunks. Will that do? Also, Sabola Jabbebus. Oof, that name's hard. Thank you for your first time subbing, my man. Welcome to the, the Moo Squad. You know, use those emotes proudly. You can walk, yes? Come, stand before me. Uh, inverted camera? No, this is regular. They, maybe on the PS2 version it was, but this one's normal. I'm guessing there's a lot of quality of life improvements maybe when they re-release re re this game on, you know, everything. See, you have chosen to flee. Why has he got a smiley face emoji? He's like, ah, let me respond in the way of our kingdom. Smiley face. Did you see the marker above my head? Oh, you're breaking my, my immersion right now. That's a talk icon. You can talk to any character showing one of these. Talk to someone. Man, wouldn't that be nice if that was how it worked in real life? Maybe once we had that augmented reality stuff. Just talk to someone, approach them, and press your well, circle for me. Try talking to your friend by the gate. Bosh. Do you like my shorts? That's not consensual eye licking. Wasn't that a, like a trend in Japan for a while? For a couple of years? People like licking each other's eyes? Damascus. Yeah, the character models in this game are way... Even though this was on PS2 like FF10, this game has way better production value. It's aged a lot better than FF10 did. Life is worth too much to throw away, Rex. So what? Do what you can, but don't try to be a hero. Save the hero stories for your brother once we're back in Rebanaster. Just listen to the captain and we'll get through this. We'll enter the fortress. Through this gate we must go. Yeah, this game's, the graphic of this game is aged way better. Plus you have camera control, unlike FF10. See the marker above your head. It's called an action icon. One of these will appear when you approach a door, switch, an item, or the like. To learn more about what you found, walk closer, an icon will change, and then press B. Snake, try pressing the select buttons. What? what? Now try opening the gate. Can you read all the dialogue in that tone of voice? Like, well, I'm going to be changing my voice depending on what I look... What, basically, what the character looks like, I'll give it different voices. Like I did with a bunch of FF9. <clears throat> because not every line is voice in this game. It is time. We will drive back any Imperials standing between us and the King. Damascus' future hangs in the balance. Stay focused on the foes before you, Rex. I will watch rearward. Yes, rearward of you. Yes, rearward. Keep walking up the steps slowlier. How old did you say you were again, Rex? Eighteen, was it? Ah, that's a good age, isn't it? Ah, can't wait till this war's over. Maybe I'll see if you want to go get some spaghetti sometime, Rex. Would you like spaghetti? You can open the party menu by pressing Y. Party man, you can examine your equipment and inventory. Okay, there, here's the combat. It's be, fun time ends now, if I... Well, maybe not just yet. That red line is a hostile target. Yeah, no, there's actually... This was the first FF game that didn't have random battles. You actually had... You fight them on the screen, but it's still a bit wonky. Alright, that red line is a hostile target line. Take heed... You're being targeted. 
when the foe targets you, the line is red. You see a foe, the line is blue. You see a red line, look for foes at once. They are not readily apparent. Use the right sticks to look around, then you found them, press B to open the battle menu. Once you've selected attack and a targeted a foe, close distance using left stick, you'll automatically attack until your foe is defeated. 12 is better than 13, yes, that that's true. But that's not saying much. Once you've selected attack, you've targeted a foe, you'll automatically attack until the foe is defeated. Well, this is, they're making this look really complicated, but they really just borrowed a lot of stuff from, like, uh, I think they borrowed a lot from Final Fantasy XII MMO, didn't they? I mean, the eleven MMO. Because it plays it plays itself, but basically. You just have to, like, remember to hit buttons every once in a while. You change targets or actions at any time if your HP falls. Press B to select items for the battle menu, then use a potion. Using an item, you'll automatically resume your previous action. There is no need to input your commands again. Did I ever fight the Yzimat in this game? No, I never finished this game. Is FF11 a thing? I don't think you can play it anymore, since it wasn't MMO. You can do it, Rex. Show me. Yes. Show me. Show me. Yeah. Magics and techniques. Uh, give him a thunder. So, as you can see, that, that's the combat. Hence the title of the stream. You can still play it, it's just not updated. Is it like fans, uh, fan servers keeping it alive or something? Because I thought, you know, Squaresoft had stopped supporting it even with servers. Not that you would probably want to, I've always heard it wasn't that good. I mean, you probably want to go to FF14 if you want to play MMO. Boss. Wow, our second enemy in the game. J boss. Attack. Air cutter remorse. I do remember this game having good the old uh, music too. But uh, it's sort of... It, it's a little bit like FF7 if you didn't actually directly control anyone and you just have the AI do everything. But you can then select you know, your, your technics and magics. This doesn't have the same impact, does it? I think that's what kind of bored me, is just not being able to do anything half the time in your combat. We need to heal. Did I ever try to do the Kamehameha? You mean, like, did I ever just do the motions? Yeah, everyone's done that. show off. Hi, would I ever consider doing a game sin video for Tomb Raider Underworld? Uh, hmm, that's a good question. I mean, I could. It's doable. Uh, it's not on my list right now, though. I'd probably have to do a bunch. There's probably, there's a couple older ones, older Tomb Raider games that all I could do, but, hmm, I'm not sure, I'd have to, I'm not really sure they have enough plot. I've never played any of the older Tomb Raider games, so I'd have to, like, give it a look, a look through first. What's up, Jim? How you doing? Yeah, attack. It's just such a weird combat system. But you can feel a little bit of the FF12 ideas in this combat system, too. Don't have turbo mode on? Yeah, we probably did. Uh, had Hold on. I thought maybe we could... How do you turn turbo mode on? What is this FF Tactics? Same world. Let's actually try that out. So, battle speed. Wait, in active mode, time flows during battle command selection. Active. So that, that puts battle speed up to fast now. Speed mode. Let's try the speed mode. That any faster? That's on. Um, 
Any speed is good speed. Yeah, you can turn off the pesky battle lines, but I might do that eventually. Don't forget to check the button for said speed mode. What do you mean the button? There is no simple way through the fortress, the minimap at the top right of your screen may not be enough to gain your bearings. Should you lose your way, consult the location map at the back. This will bring up the map the fortress we gave you before we set out. If you still find yourself at a loss, pressing left stick will allow you to review the location map as you move. Navigate your way through as you see fit. I'm playing your favorite game of... Wow, your favorite game of all time, you say? So let me go... Put, get the, I have to press a button for speed mode? Go to controls. Remove others, confirm, cancel, escape, left control, map. Pause game display, regular regular game speed. Double game speed, quadruple game speed is F3. F okay, F we'll try let's see what F2 does for us. F2? N now we'd be fast! Now we hit F3. N now we're real fast! Kind of breaks your immersion though, doesn't it? Speed! Ultimate speed. So, I think that might be a, you know, a bit too much and make the game feel like shit. So we'll, 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 we'll you, whenever we need to go fast, we'll go fast. Yeah, there can be a lot of luck walking and grinding in this game, from what I recall. That'll come in handy then. The king. We will take him to safety. Is His Majesty unharmed? He'll agree to an unconditional surrender. They wouldn't dare touch him until the wax on his seal is dry. But if we arrive after Did I finish it? Wonderful 101? No, we still need to play more of that. Quickly, Rex. <laughs> we plan to do Clan Nutsy Hunt. What is Clan Nutsy Hunts? Oh, in this game, I don't recall even what that is. Like I said, my memory of this game is not complete. It's been a while. Well, when did this game come out? 2005 or something? I played it back when it came out and I never finished it. And I kind of just forgot about it for years and years. The optional... Oh, there's a lot of optional boss fights in this game, though. There are several enemy soldiers beyond this point, however, Rex. There's no need to destroy them all. Sometimes it's necessary to escape. The right trigger command can allow you to abandon the fight with an enemy and run away. Escaping from a pointless battle is nothing to be ashamed about. Yes, don't be a man, improve yourself. Run like a coward. Perfectly good option. Look at this motherfucking detail in a PlayStation 2 game. That is nice. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know if I got even a single hit in there. If one died, just melted. Where's your ferret cops? They'll be here eventually. You're almost done playing Yakuza Kiwami, and it's quite a bit shorter than Zero, but it's more brutal and the story is kind of bad. I mean, is this the R is that the RPG one, the new one that came out you're talking about? The 
one where you can summon like satellite beams of destruction even though you're just a Yakuza guy. Oh, I see. They're going to spawn new enemies. No, it's bad. Okay. Why do you have vision cones? Uh, they just put them there. Like, I don't need a vision cone. I know what I can see, but does it show you what's in your field of view? I don't know. 300 bits from Kostanaya, just because you love me. Well, I love you back, man. Thank you. Hope you're enjoying our, yo, know, this, what's going to be a very, yo, know, weird game. This is also a very weird Final Fantasy game, just, just to put it up there. It's almost the same as Zero. It takes place right after the post credit scene is, okay, it's like the first game remade then, you mean. I forgot this game actually does respawn enemies, too. I feel like I'm like a, a level 1 dude in a party of level 10s. They just kill the enemy before I can get to them. This is one of your favorite FF games? Hey, I, hey, like what you like. Don't worry about what someone else is going to say about it. I don't judge people for liking the game. You like whatever game you like. Even if I don't personally like it, you can enjoy it as much as you want. This is a save crystal, Rex. Save your progress by approaching your save crystal and pressing B. Touching one of these crystals will also fully restore your HP and MP. You will gradually recover MP as you move about. It can take time. Do not miss this opportunity to refresh yourself and your allies. I, I love that I can just whistle at the end of every word like that. It's, good, it's a good skill. Develop it, chat. There is more I would tell you. But with no time, heed the lessons of the battlefield and you will do well. Come, we must reach his majesty before it's too late. I want your whistling through your front teeth to be a new way of just communicating. You know, you know that Final Fantasy also has cat girls, but y'all, I know they're in the, the MMOs. So I don't think they're in the actual main games. This game has g many types of girls. It's got bunny girls uh, in the MMOs, which also takes place in this world. They got cat girls and you know, tiny little munchkin people. It it's basically fetish fantasy. They might as well call it that. I like how they do the transitions to a new area. You can still see it, but they just put a little, little dotted line in front of it. Like, hey, you're going to a new place. Dragon girls too, huh? Uh oh. Kill, kill. Your magic in your white magic kill. See, see what I said when it plays a little bit like an MMO? It feels like that, too. I think that's what I never could just enjoy, the MMO-style combat, because I'm not a fan of the MMO. Good news, water parks and gyms are opening up. Well, are you going to one, though? You can't really wear your mask at a water park. And probably wearing a mask at a gym is going to be difficult, too. You kind of need to, like, breathe deeply sometimes. Don't worry, Chad. There's actually, there's a lot of dungeons in this game, from what I recall. A lot of dungeon-type levels, but there's a, there's definitely big towns you gotta go through. New York is in lockdown until June. Yeah, New York got just hammered, so... Not fun for anyone there. You think all anime is hentai until proven otherwise. It's sad that that comment has a bit of truth to it. New emotes you haven't seen? Ah, be, be sure to use them. <sighs> 
What's up, samurai? The dead dudes. Oh, the king's dead now, too. Your Majesty. <laughs> Captain, why? Our king, what have you done? The king intended all along to sell Tamaska to the Empire. His Majesty was a traitor. Oof. Captain, I... A lot of death in this one, by the way. Could you help with you with a conundrum you have? Should you play Nier Automata or Alan Wake? Uh, I kind of like Alan Wake more than Nier Automata. But if you want nice ass, Nier Automata's got you covered. We'll never surrender to you. We are not cattle to be sold by a traitor king. This guy is doing his best to sound like Obi Wan. you captain we will never bow to you and the people of dalmasca will hate you for it take the captain away <laughs> off you do so that's two very pretty young men just dead already if you're a pretty boy in this game your life is not safe Uh, why'd you utter that name? All the husbandos are dying. Pretenses of peace left by the wayside. The Arcadian forces resumed their advance toward Ravanasta. Dalmaska's doom had been decided. To make resistance would serve no end. With this foremost in my thoughts, I, to the people of Dalmaska, Sons and daughters of Dalmasca, I bid you lay down your arms. Need Darda hug? Raise Still have no idea what that would look like. In their stead. Prayer for His Majesty King Raminas, ever merciful, a man devoted wholly to peace. Prayer too for the noble Princess Ash, who, wrought with grief at her kingdom's defeat, has taken her own life. Know also that Captain Bosch. So is Far Cry 3 next? Yes, I'm working on that right now. I finished my script up today, actually. Be hugging a teddy bear. That's not manly enough. And put to his death. They who at this late hour choose still the sword. Could be an interesting look to it. Cloth as the captain. Traitors who would lead Dalmasca to her ruin. You guys absorbing all this this knowledge, this lore. Was soon to follow. Dalmasca, tiny nation, basically fantasy steampunk Poland, got conquered, surrendered, and the king murdered by Bosch. Not good times, and you know, that other pretty guy, it's Prince dead, and other other pretty guy dead as well. You didn't get anything for your birthday. Do you have any games to recommend? Uh, well, uh, damn, man. Sorry about not getting anything. Oh, god damn it. Vaughn! Hurry it up or they'll find us. I know, I know. Just a little more. You keep an eye out for me up there, kites. One, two, three more. All oh, right. Literally start you out as him just killing rats, but, uh, uh, We'll, we'll talk more about this guy in a second. For games to recommend, I mean, I don't know what you've played already. I mean, I'm guessing you know about all the big games, so... Uh, mm, Bloodborne, maybe? I don't know. I want to play that one eventually. That might be good. Uh, this is our main character. Killing rats. Okay.
Kill that Red Vaughn. Good it. I mean, if I had your abs like that too, I'd probably proudly display them, but I wouldn't you know, walk around with a shirt like that. He looks like gay Aladdin. I'm just gonna say it. I'm sorry that's offending one, but it's truth. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. Which one our main character? The princess is gonna be awfully disappointed. Princess Jasmine ain't gonna you'll be very happy to find this guy and you'll raiding the marketplace. Yo, remember when we played FF9 and you had all the weird animal people? This one also has that. It's like weird animal people all throughout. Oh, mm, good, yo. Whatever that was. What'd you say? Yeah, sir, you haven't paid, and I don't want to fucking head in that wheel. Swallow me, mum. You disrespect an empire. You'll find me later in a Witcher game, you will. Nilf Guardian, I'll be. What way you're going, Churl? My patch! It's gone! It literally is the opening to Aladdin. Get out of the way! One step ahead of the bread line. One. Na -na -na -na. Color. No, I actually like the graphics of this game still. It's, for a PS2 game, it's aged well. But uh, Vaughn has it. What? And here's the other one. Hey, that's mine. What do you mean yours? You've been stealing again. I swear these two are like boyfriend and girlfriend, but they look like brother and sister. We need you to be again. Us, Vaughn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? We're orphans. Is every First human blonde, you everyone that's important. Yourself. Come on, Pinello. You know it as well as I do. Hey, you give that back. To, to, to the Japanese, I think we're all blonde. It's seems, or fair-haired. Dalmasca's property. The Imperial stole it from us, so it's only fair that we take it back. It's our duty as Dalmascans. Well, wasn't that what you said? Yeah, but I never said anything about taking it back from me. This is for that bread you took the other day. Just because I help Miguel out every now and then, it doesn't Awkward mean to fuck exposition? What too, was? You know. I was making jokes. You're gonna head out before you pull your eyes out from frustration? You think I like living like this? So is she gonna be your waifu chat? Are, you, are we gonna do that joke again? She ain't quite a Tifa now, but hey, there's your Nash shot for you. One of these days, I'll fly an airship of my own. Gotenzi, you gotta save that ass emote, the, the, the bunny girl ass emote, and for the actual bunny girl ass to show up. Can't just overuse it. Well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're riding in a dungeon. Ron is why, well, oh, definitely. Had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. Like I said, look look at the plastic surgery eye. Hand. Every one of them has it. But uh, I think her and Vaughn and her are like boyfriend. And, they never really declaim it, but they seem like Vaughn and Pinello are boyfriend and girlfriend. But I think they're just supposedly like, no, they're just sweet childhood friends. But uh, both of them were like added last minute into the story because no... A lot of Japanese players didn't like the main the main character. So like here's these two. You need a more mature one. She's she, she reminds me a lot of Yuffie. Location map often bears a mark showing your destination. Consult the map when you aren't sure where to go next. 
go to X. World map has been added to the party menu. But hey. Said if it's still a pretty game, even for PS2, this is a really pretty game. This might have been the best looking PS2 game, actually. Getting into trouble with the Imperials again, Vaughn. Well, try and be careful. Not for your own sake, then for Magello and Pinello, okay? They're described as surrogate siblings. Oh, okay, but they get... No, I always saw them as like boyfriend and girlfriend or something. But they might just be like childhood friends. That's also a big... Uh, what are you? And why are you? Misa don't know what I am. Uh, wow, did I just combine Wado with a Jar Jar? What the fuck? That's creepy. No, never again. Misa think and use the Jedi. How did I do that? Misa Toldarian. Jedi mind tricks don't work on Misa. Should probably make myself scarce right about now. Swear, the emojis over their head to let you know you can talk to them just throw me off. Lonely boy. Oh. Sure, a lot of Imperials out today. I think they're so great, but I hate them. My father was Jar Jar, my mother was Watto. Don't ask how it works. Y y did you ever think, since we don't know alien biology, that Watto or Jar Jar might have been the female members of their species? Hey, mister, you want to hear about the history of Rebbe Aster? It won't cost you much. What, I gotta eat, you know. What's 150 gil? Wait, he wants one gil. Uh, sure, let's hear it, kid. You're wondering if you should buy OG FF7 or buy the remake once stores open back up? Well, they're two different games, so you can get both. Like OG FF7, there should be a Steam sale soon for the summer sale. Get it, wait till then, and then buy it super cheap for like just a couple bucks. Okay, so two years back, Robin Nastar lost the war with the Empire, see? That's when all the gods came and made us all live under the city, see? The Empire has one person who runs the city and everything, see? Got a console. The new console's coming today, but I hear the Xbox 360 is probably going to be a bit more powerful than it. Sorry, I had to. That's why there's so many gods. Kinda short, huh? Don't worry, I'll try and find some new things to add for next time. Why the New York accent? Why not? I need to give him an accent. I just saw the word Jar Jar and Fleshlight in chat, and then I'm just like, nope, I'm not reading that rest of that comment. Cut the tension with a knife out here on, on the streets today. Guards at every corner, I can hardly stand it. You want to ask? I said nothing. Nothing understood. Oh my god, let's make quite a label of the country shopping video. There's one thing that I felt like I could out for. That's my voice for yo rhino people. What is my. I'm practicing my voice skills. Learn to love it. Alright. Wistful Bunga. I haven't even been here two years since Prince. I don't even know what to give that guy a voice. He's like a he's like a lizard. Misa think no, no, I, I'm not gonna do that. I don't know. Only, I'll, I'll come up with a voice eventually. Only been two years since Princess Ash took her own life. Seems like Rabbit Astra has been an empire forever. Uh, not that I'm complaining. Sweltering even here in the shade. Maybe I'll head up to the sand sea and get something to drink. Step back now. I haven't finished interrogating these two yet. So your voice for that guy is the epitome of gargling soap? Yeah, that was kind of like my inspiration. No traffic in or out of Lowtown until the Lord Consul's assumed his post, no exceptions. Really should go see Magello first. Oh, Vaughn, how you doing? Lots of people landed today. Thought I would tell you some of those tricks you showed me, huh? I make a good voice actor, Chad. You know it. Don't deny. Do you think that we will get a Final Fantasy 16 in between FF7 Remake? That one's, that's a good question, and it's hard to tell at this point. Uh, 
I don't think we will because apparently the FF7, since a lot of it, they don't really have to re redevelop a lot of it. They just have to create more games since they're not going to change much in between games. They're just going to use the same combat system and everything. They just really have to like create more story and like animate it all. So I think that'll come a lot quicker than people think. Innocently walking past the sand sea I was when a sudden thirst seized me. But I ain't going in. Gotta save my gill. Good man. Don't give it all to the you know, Twitch streamers. Bad news. Final Fantasy 16 will be a VR MMORPG. Oh, cat person. Well, it's not quite a cat girl, but... Still cute. That guy's just like... Being really rude and staring at it, though. An FF remake would be cool. I don't think they're going to do another... Set upon doing another big FF remake series right now. An 8 was nowhere near as pop, you know, important as 7. Also, Alien Zach, to give you a two-month subscription. End of Ramadan for me. Called Eid. And you're playing a game you I know. Cheers. Hey, well, thank you, man. And congrats on the end of Ramadan. Hope it was a good one. Magello seemed like he was in a hurry. He's probably still at the shop. Better not keep him waiting too long. This is Magello at... Thoughts on Warner Brothers playing Koi on to Batman game? Well, I'm guessing they just want to control when it's new announced. That's nothing new. But uh, hey, maybe it'll be good. Be patient. Must be over this way. How about another Titanfall video? What would I say in it? I mean, there isn't exactly a new Titanfall game. I mean, I, they, I think they even confirmed they canceled uh, a Titanfall game they were working on. It's a nervous energy running through the whole city today. With the crew, new council coming, I suppose it's to be expected. Am I going to send this game either way? Eventually I'll send it, but it won't be happening anytime soon. I've already done... I've already released two FF videos this year, so it probably won't happen until next year sometime. It'll be like my in-between while I'm waiting for the next installment of FF7. The market for a weapon? Look no further. Everyone sir seems busy out. Kites. Gonna go... Yeah, that stuff. Hello, pilots. I'm Darty and Jones. Yeah, exactly. Canelo said you needed something? I need some packages supposed to be arriving by courier in the morning. Perhaps he ran into some trouble. Out well, that actually does sound like me doing a voice. No foodstuffs to prepare for the banquet tonight. So you want me to find this courier? Hey, no problem. That's a voice of someone who's talking who hates to use their voice. I'd be sending you to early grave, my boy. No, I've arranged for some replacement goods from Tomage over at the Sand Sea. So you want me to go to the tavern to pick him up? Actually, I asked Kites to do that. Wouldn't you know he's got missing on me, too? Ah. I can't leave my shop and knife Pinello on another chore at the moment, you see. What I want you to do is run over to the sand sea and... Is that Kites Bender, back. by the way? What do you say? Ugh, sounds wild. It's easy work, and you'll thank me for it. I think it's John DiMaggio. Just, you know, like, making a, a lizard voice. I mean, he's been in a lot of FF games, so it's a possibility. What's up, Sean Ross? How you, or Sean Rose? How you doing? All right, let's go look for a kid. Okay, kid is up there. It is indeed John DiMaggio. Yeah, it's, it's it, the liquidy part. He added like a liquidy tone to it, so it made it a little bit more hard to place. The way you found Dardian before the whole game sins, when you, uh, you used to watch me for Titanfall. So you, you're like an old time viewer. The, the Grizzled Ancients. I didn't. I don't think there's many of those. I think most of the people who watched me originally for Titanfall, like, you know, stopped after the Titanfall, you know, kind of like, you know, didn't flop, but it died. Or didn't really have legs, so hey. Thank you for sticking with my channel, man.
proud of the grizzled ancients. Woman, woman asked me for some advice on choosing the right piece of armor. Thought I'd give her the lecture. Hoping my new this new count console can really make things better, Abinaster. Really, to, I'm ready to put war and suffering behind me. I'll see you later, that guy. You have a good night. I have a proper protection. Okay, I don't think we really need to buy armor yet. Many fine armors to choose from. If you see a piece you like, there's no time to buy like the present. We're good. We're, we're good. So do, do I have videos saved in storage until some specific time to release them? Yeah, I've got over a dozen games in storage at this point in time. Like... Sometimes I just play games well before I plan to do a video, that way I have already, especially when it comes to RPGs and it's an older one. I kind of like to have it done already so I can just immediately get to work on writing a script instead of having to play it first, write a script, and then edit it together, which means it takes longer. No traffic in or out of low town to the Lord's console for this, no mistakes. Oh, 500 bits from Absolus. By the way, do you have any intent to play PSO2 Fa um, Fantasy Star Online? Is that what you're asking? Uh, I've never played it before, so I don't really have any intent to play it. I've been waiting 10 years for it to finally release in the US, and now it is only three days away from for PC. I mean, I've never played any Fantasy Star game. They don't really have a place for me. I'm not into MMOs. Kingdom Come Deliverance. I own that game, and I plan to play it at some point. I'm not sure when, though. I mean, it's weird. I bought Kingdom Come Deliverance when it came out for 60 bucks, but I never had time to play it. Pretty sure I can make a video on that one, too. So maybe that'll happen. It's sort of an MMO, but also really isn't... It's more like a third-person action RPG with multiplayer elements, honestly. I'm like, I mean, it's not on my list to do, but I'll definitely keep it in mind if it's something that... If, if I see it and it changes my mind. But I, I would say don't count on it. Am I ever going to revisit Chrono Cross? I, I'd like to play that for the stream at some point. I'm just not sure when. I mean, I've, I've been playing a lot of RPGs recently. And now I'm starting this one. There you are, Kites. Stop loafing around. Look, Vaughn, look! This is mm. it! This is why Miguelo's courier didn't get here on time. A uh, creature spotted in the ester sand. What is that thing? Ah, Vaughn! Miguelo sent you too, did he? He's a busy man these days, that Miguelo, if I dare say so myself. I don't envy him the work, though. Not a bit. Quite the affair throwing a banquet to welcome the Imperials, eh? Welcoming? We should be... Hey, Graham, thank you for the uh, three months sub, man. What's this? You're gifted enough times, it's high time you put don't money where your chat is. Hey, well... Thank you, man. Out there Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Don't feel like you have, you're obligated to. Shortages all around. Thought I'd put up a bill, offer a reward to anyone who can knock that nasty back in its place. <laughs> this sounds like a job for a witcher. Now that's work. It sounds ten times better than running errands for Miguel. Ezer Makiri, thank you, man. That means a lot to me. Vaughn, you give Hope you get, have a better week next week too, as well. You're from Spain, now, so you watch my videos really late. For you. Same time you do with oh, projects at night, well. Right. Hope you're getting good sleep, and hopefully you have a great week, man. And thank you for your kind words. Hmm, so, but here's how it works. People post bills here on the notice board when they have a monster they need taken care of. Head hunters track people, right? Well, hunters track monsters. The monster you're hunting is called your mark. It's got a tomato for a head. Here's the bill posted for the rogue tomato. Mark, I've petitioned to have hunted. I'm making a pizza later. You want to hear all the details? Yeah, I will. Let's start with accepting hunts. You can just take a look at the board, then go running off to hunt the mark. I miss out on the bounty. You gotta talk to the person who posted the bill, the petitioner first. Let him know you're going on the hunt. Take this rogue tomato bill, for example. I posted it, so I'm the petitioner. You have to come talk to me. 
That's a few extra steps that shouldn't really be necessary. Let's call that step done, okay? Once your agreement's in place, a petitioner will tell you how to find the mark. Then you hunt it, report back, and claim the bounty. Oh, and I'll give you something to help keep track of your hunts. A clan primer. Use it to refresh your memory about hunts you've accepted. You know, you want to make something look official, you put those tiny little golden emphasis you know, bars on the side. That is, that's even better than fig leaves. You put Bailey's into your tea. Did a, you make a mistake? I don't know. Taste it and see. Go ahead and take this while you're at it. Just a little something to commemorate your first hunt. At the Oraki armlet. Orky. Hmm. Looks like you can't even equip that yet. Know why? You don't have the license for yet. Oh, the licenses. Oh, I forgot about these. That's right. You gotta have a license to use a sword or any piece of armor in this game. Oh, that was such a dumb thing. I'd, it, I'd banish that from my mind. You got a license for that lever, that leather shield, son? You got a license, you can't use it. You gotta follow the rules here. Think of licenses as mileposts, marking your progress as your combat skill improves. Swords, bows, black magics, white magic. You got a license for that black magic? So I'm gonna have you pull over. I gotta check your license. I guess we should be thankful they didn't add insurance. You same goes for that armlet. Tomaj, how can I equip this great treasure you bestowed upon me, you ask? Well, easy. Learn by doing. Let's give it a try. License has been added to the party menu. I'd say you're ready to hunt that mark for me. Oh, you'll be needing this to leave the city. Just show it to that watch at the gate. I hate all your favorite progression systems. I just remember getting really infuriated sometimes in this game because I got stuck at a lot of parts of it and I had to like grind a lot. Like I said, don't let me hating something you like ever make you hate it yourself. That's not what I'm about. You you enjoy what you enjoy because you know yourself better than I ever could. And what I and also keep in mind, I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, never never forget that important information. It's like, oh, he hates what I hate. Then you're like, oh, yeah, Dargan's an idiot. Just always say that in your head. I don't have to listen to what he says. Eastgate's the one you'll want to head out. Once you've taken care of that mark for me, let me know. Your work won't go unrewarded. Ro the Rogue Tomato. Can you imagine the Witcher taking on the Rogue Tomato mission? I'm not an idiot? Well, I would, I'm would. i using a different term of it. I'm not, I'm not stupid, but I am a clown. So... I'm just here to, like, say funny stuff and go ha-ha laugh. Try equipping the Orc K armlet. Use the license command in the party menu to obtain the accessories one license. Then use to equip command. Equip command to equip it. No, do not. They, I hate it when they put the, the automatic thing on yes, so you actually hit it in. Like, oh, do the rhetorical again, huh? So, licenses. In order to use weapons, armor, and magics, you must first obtain the proper license. Learn the license that supports your playstyle to create your own unique party. You must choose a license board in order to obtain licenses. This is kind of like just taking the place of your job skills, by the way. There are 12 boards, each allowing you to develop a character with unique abilities. Once you enter the clan, the clan hall, you can change board there. Like, if I'm not mistaken, none of your parties have like a set character role. You like make them what you want them to be. Once you can enter the clan hall, you can change boards there. White mage. Mages who will healing and support magics. Choose this license. I'm making Vaughn a white mage? Uh, sure. It's basically just a sphere grid over again, too, when you actually look at it. Mystic armor. Accessories. White magic. Just a little bit more, you know, for equipment. You know, instead of just, you know, stats you get for your equipment. It's basically a sphere grid for equipment. It's a bit weird, but hey, what? Insufficient license points. I only got one, huh? I need a lot for those. And 20 license points. At least you're playing the updated version before you couldn't change the job you selected. 
So you'd be stuck with your first selection? No, you're, yeah, you're probably right, it was worse then. Equip. The Orchion slightly raises max HP. I wonder if you saw licenses like this, you gotta say like a British person? License? No, I'll say like, I'll say like a country person. I'm gonna have to check your license, son. There's a mark out for the Esther Sand. Of course the Imperials are too busy securing the city to worry over troubles beyond her walls. Ready to install the new council. Fie! They're just looking for an excuse to flaunt their might. You know, the world of this place reminds me a lot of FF9 with all the animal people and, like, just the environments. It's like, man, I wish I had an FF9 game that was sort of like this, you know, in 3D. How, how are you, Vaughn? That creature in the desert has us chasing after supplies and from dawn till dusk. I better do so. Have I trained Dex for the Great Mouse? Dex sucks as a cat. Dex couldn't even kill the mouse that she, she cornered yesterday. Who gave you the leave to come up here, boy? Falcony's reserved for the Imperial watch you here. I, I, I had to kill the mouse for my cat because she was like, meow, looking back at me like, this is your job, right? Like, you, you were evolved to do that and you can't do it. There was one mice, one mouse in my apartment. And I remedied that by killing it. I had to do my cat's job for me for it. So where are we going? I think I need to go to the low town. Yeah. Did I use a gun? No, I grabbed it by its tail and then flung it into my floor. You think I'm going to use a gun? I don't even own a gun, and why would I use that to kill a mouse in my house? I'd be putting a hole in my floor. Okay, maybe not this way. What is Bushi, chat? Sounds Japanese. Okay, so the lines tell me i got to go over that way, and then over to that one, so... Continue journey downward. Sometimes when you need to kill five people, you need to drop a section onto the city. Well, that was the way it was in the original FF7. They changed it now. Now, now they needed it for as an excuse for war. So now it does actually make a bit more sense why they would go that far to drop and drop an entire half chunk of a city onto an onto a slum, rather than just like, eh, we want to kill avalanche members. Do it. Do anything suspicious? We'll lock you up so fast your head'll spin. I don't think we'll let you off because you're young, neither. O open the door. Okay, never mind. That's not where I need to go. How many small animals would you say I've hunted over the course of my lifetime? Just wondering. I, well, I, I haven't kept track. Does that include insects? I mean, I don't normally go around killing things. But I can't really let vermin, you know, hang around in my my home. And my cat wasn't doing the job, so I, I made it quick and painless. Made it from the Eastern... Easter Sand. The Esther Sand. That's a good fantasy name. I'm gonna stop before you can get through. Could you take him something for me? Sure. Excellent. You should find him just outside the East Gate. A bunga, like myself. Don't go selling that to pocket the gill for yourself, you here. Small package. I'm a murder. I'm a murderer because I killed a mouse that invaded my home. Chad, you got weird. Do I have a lot of PETA members in my chat tonight? Is that the case? CDC warns that rodents are now aggressive. Well, that's in. I, I've seen you'll. Videos of like animals uh, invading like city streets and stuff. There was actually a pack of monkeys somewhere in Asia that, because humans were on vacation to feed them, they just like eh, raid this place. So they're like literally gangs of monkeys fighting in the streets. I think we can't really do much until we take care of the, this first mission. So let's get to it. But this is a fun world to explore. I'll give it that. 
Like I said, this is the most technically impressive PS2 game they ever made. And it still can, it still actually looks good when it gets up res and everything. It's nice still. Good job on that. You there, let's see some papers, boy. No public passage on account of the Lord Consul's parade. Oh, gee, that's too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight, he sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the uh, consuls. Oh God, they're bobbies. He wants them quick. I got the proud soldiers of the empire. They all. You see, signed, Magello. I just hate to see the consul upset because his food wasn't ready on time, and I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Consul is a great man, I no one that take offense in such uh, trifling matters. Lock him up. Look at him, you can't trust that guy. Move along, boy. Wouldn't do to keep the console waiting. Right. Gates are closed after this. Chen, I have a question for you. What, uh, what race would you say Vaughn is? I mean, that's a weird question to ask, but I honestly can't tell you. When you look at the, he's like some new breed of human. Well, he might he might be related to what you know. He might come. Mm, well, like I said, that plastic surgery face just obscures it. You can't really tell anymore. An Asian Scandinavian mix. That might be close. Your eyes not walking, boy. You want to pass? You queue up with everyone else. Any arguments? Speak to the gold at the back of the queue. Twenty bits. If you could choose, what if, what Final Fantasy game would Thanos, would I Thanos from existence? Uh, thirteen. That's an obvious, obvious answer. I despise thirteen. They, these guys said the same thing. Once the gates close, they're not letting anyone through. No exceptions. Getting in while they're getting good. Trying to push in. Best be rethinking that move, mate. You want inside, you get in the behind me, understand? Also, excise, thank you for your 13 months. Don't listen to Ondor's lies, Dark. There, there's a man who knows his, t knows his, his lore. Not many people coming along now. Once we get this lore taken care of, that should just about do it, I'd say. Uh, just wondering what, if you could choose... Oh, I'll, no, no. It's pretty obvious that I've never liked 13. You heard lore? Yes, I heard lore. What about you? Looking to get inside? Yeah, let me get it in line. No thanks. I mean, I can just walk back through the door. Or, or maybe not. Yeah, there's someone I need to give this item to over here, right? Inspection line's grown a good deal shorter and hardly anyone's leaving the city now. I imagine these people would be the last, though. Suppose I should be heading in my in myself. Wouldn't do to be shut out here, would it? Does Vaughn get bitches like Cloud? Look at him. I mean, I can't really... Ladies of chat, what do you think? He's... He's very smooth and glamorous. Glamorous and smooth. He emerged from the water, casting aside all of his... all that made him human. He's like the opposite of Xerxes, isn't he? Like, you know, the original Xerxes walks into the Golden Pool, comes out that bald, yo know, you know, God King. Imagine if this came out in 300 movie. Xerxes emerged from the pool, stripped of all of his humanity. Glamorous and small. Feminized. <laughs> I'm coming up with a weird plot, anyway. Can I pass through the gates till they finish going over me belongings? Rich life and limb crossing the desert to be treated like this. I don't even know what this accent is. What is this? Bah. On your way out of the city, ye? There's a tomato beastie running amok on a bluff close by. Don't get yourself in nay bother. Dye hair. They, he called him dyed hair. This is his natural color and you respect it. He kind of looks like those male K-pop stars. I, I think he actually was... The, the, the guy they modeled him on was like some kind of Japanese boy idol. I believe. Chad, you will... Like, I, I despise lightning, and but Vaughn just kind of like... Ugh. I don't hate him, he's just there. He doesn't do anything. You you will come to see that this man does not even need to be in this story. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Both, you know, every other character in this game just, you know, is way better than him. At least I can recall most of the stuff about Lightning. Lightning is memorable, but she's not likable. This guy is just like, what did he do again? My companion and I arrived together, but they singled out my goods for inspection. I've been held up here all day. Came from the city, yes? Did a banga merchant happen to give you an item? Yes, there it is. But what do you know? My thanks, boy. Helped me out of that tight spot you have. Get into the desert, are you? Best watch yourself out there. Get into any fights? Just be sure to keep well ahead or you'll hear me. Mind your wounds for the next blow you take. Could be your last. I myself caught by the tail a time or two out there. Let me tell you. I just completed a mission and got nothing for it. So this is like Chrono? No, Chrono had no lines, but he still had a character. Chrono was good. He was like anti-Yo-Yo-Goku. Let's go kill ourselves a tomato. The journey begins. Chrono was smart. Chrono Chrono's one of those non-talky main characters. He's just heroic. And no, he's not an idiot. And um, he's probably a good dad, too. Would I ever send a game like Fallout or any of the best? Uh, maybe. I mean, Fallout 4 technically looks pretty doable. Oh, they got... These aren't quite cactars. They're too. They're pudgy cactars. They're cactites even. Cactus fruit. Chinese bootleg cactars. Here they grow them on a farm. Where's Wolf at? Oof. No, I wanted to open this. Oh, I see the tomato. Why was the tomato such a fearsome thing that needed to be hunted instead of the wolf surrounding it? There's the creature of legend. I'm lecturing us on a hatred of cactars and Dex's inability to be a cat. He is... Taking applications for a new cat. That's how that works. What's up, gamer? Complete global saturation. You know, if you, if you had the Franker face installed, I got a, an emote for that line. Oh shit. Fuck. The wolves. The wolves are here. Make paste soon. I, should, I, I forgot this guy's our thief, isn't he? Hope the steel raid isn't like your garbage. Rogue tomato. Tuck. I don't know if attacking from behind it does more damage or not. I don't think it does. Do I have to do anything when I level up, or is it automatic? Got nine points, so we still can't get any more licenses just yet. Still rate is Garbo. That, it always is, isn't it? That's why it's usually only worth stealing from bosses. Thanks again for helping out with the Archive channel, no problem. I still need to download uh, all the Metro streams and then all the Final Fantasy stuff. And upload that. 
I still also still need to upload all the Doom streams. I've only uploaded the first two from that. Attack the tomato. Kill the tomato already, would you? God, it's a tomato. What FF game has a good steal rate? Uh, none of them. Kill the tomato, not the streamer tomato, by the way. Yeah, he's good. That, though, piece of shit. Fucking tomato. Welcome back, though, uh, BitStarVox. With this actual tomato emotes, by the way. Never thought I'd see him growing out here. FF Tactics? Maybe it does. This will make a nice souvenir. Time to call it a day. Put that in Tiva's bar. And a handful of Galbana lilies. Oh, yo, I don't think we should go finding that. The T-Rex the in the background. That seems a bit strong. I'm almost positive. If you fight that right now, you're dead. I said Tifa a lot. I, I even had to re-record a bunch of lines in my video because so, I kept saying Tifa. Trust me, when you had to record half your lines because you kept saying Tifa, uh, Tifa, you start to learn to, like, fuck it, learn to say it. Oh shit, I need to heal, don't I? Kill. How did I do three attacks like that, by the way? That was neat. Got a license for those potions. Uh, no sir, I'll be getting it next Tuesday. Oh, I'm gonna have to bring you in. Might as well get a little bit of extra experience by fighting these bulls while I'm here. How did I do that triple attack or that like that? It did it again. Recently finished playing Assassin's Creed 2 and you started on Brotherhood. The difference is to improvements is amazing from one to the other. Still though, Assassin's Creed 2 is really good to play. It is one of the better ones. It was the best until Black Flag came along, I guess. What are you? It rolls upon me. Whoa, 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 look at its face. Oh, that's... Woo. Oh, it's, it's horrid. Thick bird. You thought I hated Black... No, I don't hate Black Flag. I just don't think it's the greatest seal one ever met. I still think two is better. I did have a fun time playing Black Flag. Fla oh, almost had a very... Bad word there, Black Flag, because it kept crashing on me. Yeah, I caught myself just in time. Kill the bird. You heal slowly as you walk around, don't you? But it's very slowly, so I should use a potion. Since you be. The multiple hit thing is based on your weapons. Some weapons are better at it than others. Oh, okay. It's just a random thing that can happen, then you mean. Go grab those potions and stuff, then we'll head back. See, I remember having to do a lot of grinding in this game, so it's probably best to get your grinding in before. Ooh. Before you actually reach those spots, so you have to do less of it later. Uh, 
Are potions just Viagra in RPG form? Well, they're they're healing wounds, not making your cock big. Or have you all inflated? Why can't I say though? Just say the word erection, like I should be saying. Speed key. Well, I do have all the speed turned on. Just not. You know, we're almost done here. I'm, I'm not killing everything here. I think we got another level up. I literally just came over here to get this stuff. Speed. You talk to Phoenix now, so... Check my license board. Do I get anything I can, like... Okay, we got 24 license points, so we can, you know, grab some stuff. And we could, you know, make him learn something else. But maybe we should stick him as a white mage. Shikari, warriors who fight nimbly across heel and dale. Weapons, daggers, techniques, first aid, abushi. Sword masters who devote themselves, body and soul, to their lords. Fuck me, I, th I think we will learn cures, though. Learn cure and blind. Uh, cotton cap. Good stuff. Maybe we will just have Vaughn be a white mage. He kind of looks like one. What would you say is a good game to stream? Was wondering so you could make uh, some fun shit with your friends. Uh, if you're planning to play with friends and you need a multiplayer game. Uh, are there any survival games you like? That might That's usually a good thing to stream with friends. Or you can go with one of the more indie games. Uh, Borrow Trauma, maybe. Or just bang, go with the, the classic Minecraft. That always works. I know you have to buy those spells, yeah, I know. That just lets you use them when you do buy them. I like the idea of having multi-classing in an FF game. No clue if this is game stuck the landing, though. Uh, I think it's mostly okay. It's just that you can really fuck yourself over, I think, if you make a lot of bad decisions on your what, how you develop all the characters. If you wanted, you can make every single one of your party members a white mage, for instance. Also, a good game to stream right now is Terraria. You might want to... I've actually thought about streaming Terraria myself. Time for speed. Speed! Terraria is hot as fuck right now. We're back in town, so... Speed off. I don't know why I can never get the speed working in FF10. It would have helped a lot. Did you just hear me say you want to stream Terraria? Uh, I might. It's, I might. I've been thinking of it. Why well, you a big Terraria? I mean, I never played it, so I'd probably infuriate you, to be honest. You, you know I would. I would have every Terraria fan who has ever been like, why is he doing it that way? So just as they, f I mean, mainly the game is big right now because it's finally done. Make sure their inspection. Let me through. I need through door. Like, uh, hey, wouldn't let me through. Nothing's to do now but wait until the ceremony is over. Oh, Vaughn, I guess I'm not the only one who got locked out of the city. I told Pinello about the mark you were going after, and I guess I got her worrying. So the two of us headed out here to find you. As soon as I stepped out, the guards closed the gates and things got crazy. I haven't been able to find her since. What do you think his shampoo is, Chad? It's impressive, whatever it be. All right, out of the way. 
Am I doing the base story or plan to do some of the optional bosses? I don't know. I'll, that's not decided yet. This is a pedigreed parader, boy. Cost tens of thousands of gil this one. There's a lot you have to do to get every single boss in this game. You have to do a lot of hunting. Keep your distance. We don't want the chocobo sticking a peasant. What you say? Step aside. Right One step in. ahead of the bread. Oh, why'd you push me? Oh. Wow, with oh, that does it. Oh, 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 a fine, fine chocobo you have there. Yes. I'm just asking for people want to play with me. Oh, is it? Multi I didn't know it was even multiplayer. Change the soil, change the chocobo. Am I right? Yes, yes. Different style means different bouquet too. Take a Damask in the rose wine. He may lack the flavor and depth of some of your Arcadian wines, but he has a certain strength of character. <laughs> it's not bad, really, once you get used to it. Care for some, sirs? There's more than enough for all to cool their throats, of course. You let these carts through them and close That's crazy. Joe DiMaggio, son. You respect him. The males choke with this. Well, not, wait, not Joe DiMaggio, just DiMaggio. Different DiMaggio. Don't give me a scare like that. John, yes, John. Lucky that ended where it did. Right. Now's our chance to He's just being forced to play a lizard. Ah, Instead of a big rough man or robot. I best be hurrying. Okay, well. <sighs> Vaughn, wait, what is it? Because it still impresses me that our games now look as good as the CG. In fact, I'd say FF7's endgame looks better than the CG. being poor. It's the hair of an antagonist. We will have order. I give you your new consul, His Imperial Highness Lord Vain Solidor, Commandant of the Arcadian Empire's Western Arm... Your Excellency. People of Rabanaster, is it with hatred you look upon your consul? With hatred you look upon the Empire? Spit on your back to Arcadia! There was little point in asking. But know this, I harbor no idle hopes of frustrating that hatred. Nor shall I ask your fealty. That is the due of your fallen king, and rightly so. King Ramanas loved his people strove to bring you peace. His was a rule worthy of your devotion. Even now, he remains among you, protecting you. His ardor for the peace and will of Dalmasca falters not. I would ask only that you do your king honor. Together, let us embrace the peace his majesty would surely desire. Two years now divide us from war's bitter end, yet still its shadow looms over all, stifling the infant peace, a pall only you may cast off. Achieve but this one thing, and your hatred of me and of the Empire will grieve me not. I will stand fast. I will endure your he hatred. He sounds very I like him. He's got good hair. Arrows. I will defend Dalmasca. Here I will pay my debt. I swear it now. Discount Star Wars well, so Though somewhat. King Ramanas and Lady Ash be gone, they stand ever at the side of their people. In honoring peace, you do honor to their memory and to Dalmasca. 
What I ask, I ask plain. My hopes now rest with you. Well, okay, we like you now, even though you conquered our nation. Got away with the people, chat. He, he, he invested all of his points into speechcraft. See, it is possible. Is Ravenaster to your liking, my lord? Mm, he should have asked the plastic surgeon to, surgeon to like, carve a little bit off that nose like he did his eyelids. Yet whimsical in its execution. A stunning example of Galtean architecture. I hope Lord Gramus might one day look upon it Looks himself. like my Minecraft build, my son made. Oh, the last one? They're all like this. The patron of Which one of those two do you think is more masculine, chat? Vaughn or Pinello? I know it can be hard to tell. Whatever plays Xenoblade? I don't know, I don't have any history with it. That's enough of Highness. Though indeed I am our Emperor's son, I am no prince. Arcadia's Emperor is freely chosen by her people. I am but an elected official Why do you call them Emperor? I, I meant no disrespect. Now that I think on it, I would not have you address me as Lord Consul for that. What matter. are the games that I consider no. playing? I don't know. Henceforth, I don't think that far ahead. Why don't you and yeah, I plan to play more 101. I could not. That would not be right. You are overly fond of formalities. I've just the remedy for that. Tonight you will join me, and we shall drink. Lift your head, little man. Why does his armor have bat wings? Maybe because he's evil. How can he stand about? Now, which of those is two is more masculine? Fawn, you just do not get it, do you? He's not doing it because he wants to. You know what would happen if he didn't. I know, it's just... So, what would you do different? I don't know. Well... Vaughn has very childbearing hips. I'm just going to put that out there, by the way. Vaughn. Vaughn, you haven't heard a single word I've said, have you? This place has changed so much. It's like it's not even Rabinaster anymore. Like the I think they even have the same character the model except for a different head. Hey, Pinel, that fate tonight. You think they'll let us in? Are you crazy? It's in the palace, and we don't have an invitation if you hadn't noticed. So, how are we getting in? As if I'd know. Why not ask Magello to get you in? Or go see old Dallin in Lowtown? Why the sudden interest, Vaughn? I told you, I'm going to take back what's I think it's easy to lay in a bed with those get old things on her back. Come on. It'd be awkward. What do you think? If I find something, and it fetches a good price, how about I, uh, I buy you all dinner? Oh, please. You know as well as I do the first thing Absolus you buy is knows what he's talking about. Vaughn, sky part of Damasca. It's got a nice ring to it. Stay out of trouble. Hmm. An yep. airship. I don't know. Maybe. But not through Miguel. Time to pay old Dallin a visit. Th that's Vaughn's entire character, by the way. He wants to be a sky pirate. That's all he has going for him. That's what happens to a Gungan when they join up with a gang, by the way. You are now free to enter Low Town and leave Rabinaster. Misa Hardcore, yes. Listen, churl, you'll get into trouble. Do it proper, like, make a name for yourself. I want the bounty on your head. Be worth the trouble, horror. Do I prefer Last Air Airbender or Legend of Korra? Uh, Airbender, of course. Where's that taking me? Uh, that takes me to a new section of the city. Uh, what's our objective? We don't currently have an objective. But, uh, 
your primer? No, so you have. Well, what are you standing about here for? And with you. Can't quite recall your face, so you new? Spacious bunga. Special heed to what the folks in some What am I doing? Did I just join a cult? That's a Moogle in this game, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that is. What are you looking at? This ain't no place for children. Hmm. He's an exception. His parents were both hunters. And, were friends in, and they were friends of mine to boot. And it's until they set up a hunt. This one's notorious mark. I'll avenge him. Be sure of it. Keep him near to the ground. Looking for a sign of that mark ever since. Tactics Advance is a better game. Clan Nutsy, son. Oh, I see. I guess this is like the Hunter's Hall. Like, hey. Are you now? It's definitely a meal. There's Koopo. Are you new here, Koopo? My advice for you always be sure to check for your latest bills. Never know when a new one might be posted, Koopo. No matter the notice board you check, the bills will be the same. So go to the nearest one and you're set, Koopo. Even the, the Moogles are hardcore hunters in this game. No more cutesy shit. Like, I thirst for blood, Koopo. Did you say Snoop Twiddle, Mike Firo? What's that about? Piss off, Koopo. You know, something like that. Oh, bunny girls. Very tall. Or either that or Vaughn, it's very short. Yes, what is it you need? I am Kern, a hunter of Clan Centurio. Do you know my boundaries that I joined the clan? There's a wellspring of information about powerful marks. I don't even know what this thing is. It's got like pincers for ears. Or is that. I guess that's part of its costume. It's just like. Ugh, what it. No. New clan. I am Mackenro. Pleasure, I'm sure. Like our other members, I cannot participate in hunts. My specialty lies in a collection of information. If you have a question about one of your marks, ask. I will tell you what I know. What are we here? A newcomer, uh, Mont Blanc's the founder of our clan. Should be sure to show him the proper respect. Drop the travel about except can be just, just a bunch of hunters, gotcha. Can you get some soup, Dale? Like, shut the fuck up in this game? Well, you just don't have to talk to people if you don't want to. I think there's nothing we can do here right now. Vaughn's official height is 5'7". He's a little on the short side, then. I guess he makes up for it with the abs, though. Fetish? Yeah, there's a lot of fetish bunny girls in this game. A lot of asses, too. Burn that feet at the power show. I believe, I believe the character designer of this game has a has, a, has kind of a thing for it. He's definitely an ass man. F7 is not short. Oh, I didn't say it was. I just definitely on the smaller scale, but it's definitely not what my I would determine as short. But did, is there a reason you made that in all caps? By the way, I, I didn't strike a nerve, did I? I didn't mean to. I'm not the type of person who judges a person solely based on their height. But, but come on, he's the same size as the women here. The spirited woman, Vane invaded Nalbina. Bosh wouldn't accept surrender and kill the king, enemies of Dalmasca both in my book. I just need to move, keep moving. Five, seven and a half, like, like I said, don't let your height determine you're the type of person you are. That's not what's important. What's inside that counts? You know, that's that's a generic saying you say to that. Am I an ass man? I'm a fan of, you know, many things. That included.
What do you sell? Sorry, we're still getting... Okay, no one sells anything yet. Organs? Yes, uh, I'm, I'm like, hey, that lady's got a sexy kidney. Mmm. <clears throat> Stairs to loot. Okay, that's, I need to go turn in this quest, don't I? I think that was back at one of these shops. Hmm. Not really sure, though. The last has both kidneys means you can sell one. Wow, that is uh, a bit of interesting logic you got there. Use arrow buttons on the map. Yeah, I'm just old. Old Do Dolan is in Low Town. Must know a way. Okay, wait, that's actually our objective. Now I see. I thought I needed to turn in that you know that hunt I. I did. So let me just go and try and do that real quick. Let's see if I can buy a cure spell. Uh, buy. Two hundred dollars. I don't have two hundred. Damn it! Just off. I can buy fire though. Just can't use it with anyone. Maybe it was A and arrow keys? It wasn't... Oops. That shows you those, those locations. But yeah, we need to go to Low Town, wherever that's at. Go to Low Town. Truly a, a hive of scum and villainy. Have I ever read your My Immortal? No, but I've listened to bits and pieces of it read. I don't think anyone can actually sit through that entire thing. Have you read all of it? It's not, it would not, it's a definitely an accomplishment, I'll give you that. But I'll leave that to stronger willed people. Living there recently passed away. He fled. Okay, don't really care. Private residence. The door is tightly shut. What the fuck is it? What the fuck is what? Demented merchant. You've come to make a purchase, yes? Oh, my apologies. My store is nowhere as fit for children, I'm afraid. What do you sell here then? It. I'm an adult. But even the even the NPCs realize it, Chad. Child. Fy and paw. Blast those Imperials. What's up, Rar Gamer? How you doing? Okay. Other section of Low Town apparently. Now, this is a big city for this game. Or at least there's a lot to explore in it. Wishing it wasn't so goddamn hot. Uh, it's kind of warm today, but not uncomfortably so for me. Did we find a porn shop? He's doing a terrible job of advertising on the outside. He hardly sold nothing today. Can't expect the likes of these to put up hard gear, though. Oh well, go on, have a look. Onion bomb. Uh, I think I'll save my money. Ugh. 
Maybe he doesn't have the porn license deal. That would explain it, actually. Oi, you got a license after I sell that porn. Or to, yeah, equip the porn magazine, chat. That's how it'd be done. Right down here is where we're going. Yeah, everything about this game, though, feels like an MMO. Like, everything feels a little bit too big for a single-player game. And it's like, uh, we made it because it's mmo size. That's why. Jolly seek back when they were moving freight and caravans from Giza Plains, though. Southgate, they must have needed doors this large to pass through. Pity this is the only one that still works. You want to feed your doggos? You'll be right back. Hey. Good, good luck with that, I guess. I mean, I mean, probably don't need it, but hey. Could be a dangerous dog. I mean, dangerous job. Ah, if it isn't Von Ratsbane. What, what? Come for a tip on how to secure something bigger and in armor by the East Gate? What? You already heard about that? Look at that hookah. Wise I may not be, but well informed I am. They'll get what's coming to them someday, believe me. But that's not why I'm here. Do tell. I want to know how to sneak into the palace. They've got to have some great stuff in there. Thought I'd partake. <laughs> not one to mince words, are you, boy? The Empire protects all that's hers, and that means the palace and all the treasures inside. That's why I'm gonna do it. To take back what's ours. So, our champion of the sewers aspires to noble action. Admirable. Perhaps I can help you. Ah, now that I think on it, there was a rumor. Yes, a secret passageway into the palace walls, a door, and a magic stone that opens the way. That's it. This is exactly why I came to talk to you first, Alan. Would you trust anyone so telling you a story like that if they have a giant pipe in their hand stone. and a hookah next to their seat? Uh, oh, I've had it for years, if I can remember where I've tucked it away. I mean, this, this perpetual high I think this guy is on. Heard all I need, so this uh, crescent stone, can I have it? Only if you looked Indian, ah. I see there's a, there's a, there's a element of racism to it. He's got a rabbit, I don't know if that's a rabbit to be honest with you. It looks like a cat mixed with a rabbit. And it's got a little ball on its tail for some reason. And I can find the secret passage into the palace, right? Not much of a listener, are you? The Crescent Stone has lost its magics. Without the power of the Sunstone, it will be of little use. Right, so where can I get one of those Sunstones? I think you see Giza Plains. Speak with the nomads there. You will find your Sunstone. Leave by Southgate and continue south. The village is not far. There are like to be beasts on the plains. So be careful, my boy. You don't have to worry about me. I'll be back before you know it. Where did all these children suddenly come from? They weren't here in the cutscene. Going to Giza Plains, be careful. You may want to talk to the Moogle from the Cartographer's Guild in the Southern Plaza before you leave for Giza. It can't hurt to save a map to have a map. Hmm. Southern Plaza before... I'm guessing it's upstairs somewhere. You've been wondering this, but don't... Do you not like multiplayer? Was wondering since you almost never stream anything multiplayer related? I mean, I'm not opposed to multiplayer, but when I'm streaming, I kind of like to do it, you know, not be part of a group. Because I like to be able to talk to you guys. If I'm streaming, I mean, like, the focus on talking with the person I'm playing with. And I can't really, because I'd have to, like, first I'd have to use touch to talk. I mean, you'll press it, press to talk. So I could separate when I'm talking to you and when I'm talking to the person I'm playing with. So it's just kind of a headache. <clears throat> that being said, I will probably will eventually end up streaming with a friend of mine every once in a while. 
Let's see, Giza Plains. Hang a right here, and I'm practically at Southgate. This will be easy. I have friends. Yes, I even have a friend who's also a YouTuber who recently hit a thousand subs. So, maybe at some point we'll stream together. Thing is, we actually live in the same town, so I've been trying to help them act, help her grow her channel. So I, I can not be the only YouTuber that lives here. It's like, oh, I got someone I can talk to about this shit. They talked to the the Moogle here, didn't they? You gotta admit, the the Moogle be cute as fucking fuck in these games. Holy crap! Elite tier Moogle. Well, hello there. You are no stranger to the yellow birds just behind me. I'm sure, yes. My friend, I speak for the Chocobos, Kupo. These noble birds make for excellent steeds. Fleet of foot and sturdy of limb, Ard arduous journeys fly by atop of a Chocobo, Kupo. Only 500 gil should you wish to hire one. That's not what I was asking about. No thing. Perhaps another day, Kupo. Should you ever need a Chocobo? You know where to find one. I thought you were going to sell me a map. Could go for a chocobo ride right about now. Why didn't these... Well, th this game, they they did a lot more... I don't know. I, I do like the character designs of some of the non-human people in this game. Good stuff. gonna go play more Saints Row. See you later, Puff. Uh, this game does play take place in the same universe as Tactic Advance, as well as apparently Final Fantasy XIV, right? And, you know, the, that other game that for some reason always slips my memory even though I said it twice tonight. It's one of the only, it's actually the only continuous world in the FF franchise. There's a Moogle they said to buy a map from, I was looking for that. Vagrant Story, all that. Vagrant Story is also part of it. Okay, whatever, the Moogle ain't here. Ivalice did exist in 14, but not this Ivalice. Okay, there's multiple Ivalices, apparently. Fourteen is actually its own pocket universe. I do know there's like isn't there like special raid boss fights in 14 that are actually the final bosses of other Final Fantasy games? Like you can fight X Death and not Kefka. I'm not sure how that's explained. Do they, like, get drawn into that universe or something? Jimbo Kefka. Yeah, I've seen, like, videos for, like, ruby weapons in it, too. And, well, Sephiroth isn't in it, but they had something called Sep... The... Oh, that reminds me. There was an enemy in it, and uh, I saw a video of it. There's a, a raid boss in 14 that's called... It's not Sephiroth, but it sounds like Sephiroth, and it has the old, uh... Basically a ripoff of Power Band's 5000s, you know, the world's collide music as it's, as it's music, as it's uh, boss music. I mean, it sounds one for one with, with you know, worlds collide. I was like, wow, they got away with that. Well, those are way too cute to kill. Final Fantasy Disney. Has, has, has anything from Kingdom Hearts ever showed up in Final Fantasy 14 though? The ultimate crossover. Just gave them some leftover steak. Man, you're feeding those dogs those dogs good. Very happy German shepherds. If you want to make them even more happy, put a little bit of olive oil and, you know, and a raw egg into that mix. Make it really nice and sloppy for them. Attack the fluff the pluff the pluff berry. The Giza rabbit. Attack the rabbit. It's like a moth more than a rabbit, but whatever. 
Out of Darkness is actually the only canonical ver canonical version of herself. Yeah, well, that one. Uh, I've always wondered, did they ever, ever include Necron in FF14? Because Necron is one they could add into it. I'm guessing they will eventually, if not. Good idea for next time. Yeah, like, trust me. Uh, fish oil, too, if you got some of that. Dark speed, you're right. I should, you know, speed up. Go fat. Go fat. We'll just, we'll leave it at, you know, two times, at this speed. Other speed's a little too much. Where am I going, actually? Down there. Yeah, like I said, these ma these maps are very MMO like. Did I already kill the rabbit? No, the rabbit's I'm trying to run. I'll get a firestone from the hyena. This thing is. Let's kill the wolf first. Dark crystal. The dark crystal ready. It's a brilliant light. I think it's something you can't do until later. Might have something to do with summons. I'm not sure. Oof, what are you? Don't die! Whew. I got close. Look at them legs. It's like an alligator with yo stilts. This is all I get to make of it. There's a way to aggro them. You know, no, don't fight the bird at the same time. Pull the wolf. You, you have to use MMO tactics here. You see, you gotta aggro one at a time. Come to me. Attack bird. Shit, 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 shit. Run, run, scary things. Oh. It's even funnier when you die in fast, fast, mo fast forward. Shit. Do I have Gambit set? I don't, I haven't leveled up enough to really do anything. To hold a button to run away? I think it was. You're right. Take it, skin. Would you send Knights of the Old Republic remake? I mean, is that actually getting a remake? I don't know if that's true or not. Kill the thick-legged alligator, please. It's abomination. I got, I got rushed by everything over here. No, oh, open. 
How much stuff does your minutes have to be to create creatures? I don't know if well, they're, inter they're meant to be interesting. So here, here's a thick gator. Trust me, wait till you see the wall demon. If I remember wall demon correctly, it's pretty w messed up looking. Demon Wall is always fun. I can't wait to see what Demon Wall looks in the FF7 remake. That's going to be an interesting boss fight. Kill Bird. What was that thing's purpose in nature? It doesn't look like it was capable of flight. You got stuck on that? Yeah, it's a tough fight. Wall, Wall Demon is always meant to be a tough fight, though. If I'm mistaken, if, if I, I think in this game, Wall Demon is optional. You don't have to fight him if you don't want to, but it's, like, super difficult to beat. It's best to, like, run away from it. Okay, what am I looking at? Oh, okay, so, down this way. If you play four, uh, 14, you'll get to see Ruby, Emerald, and Sapphire before... Look, I'm not planning to play 14. I, I have no interest in MMOs. Did I get any new equipment? I don't think I did. Maybe I should have bought something before coming on here. Uh, we still need points. I guess we're just going to turn Vaughn into a white mage. I don't know. There's probably like a you know, a very optimized build you can find online. Who knows? Like I don't, don't even know which one of these does which one of these is the best. Like black mage, we definitely need one of those. Archer, bow breaker. Warriors use mighty weapons to tear their foes asunder. Time battle mage. So something that casts reflect and haste and all that stuff. Monk. Punching kick, knight, swords, red battle mage, uh, mach mach machinist, technics, charm, temporarily convert foe to friend, uh, whatever an ulan is. Spears, technics, revive. Someone who spent hours making builds in this game, you promise you, you it doesn't matter if you're doing a casual playthrough. Hmm. You can redo. You can redo the choices now. Hmm. That's good if so. Because you could really mess yourself up, you know, from what I recall. I got to a point where I just got... Every boss battle was a torture, almost. So I think these giant glowing crystals you see everywhere are something for much, much later in the game. For like a special hunt or something. Or maybe those are the sunstones they talked about. Uh, you got a point ever basic fight with spamming miss attacks and hoping you wasn't one shot, huh? Or you got to the point, yeah, I remember like, there's just like a lot of boss fights that just will mess you up in this game if you don't have the right, uh, well, especially if you don't have the right gambits equipped, which I don't think I ever did. I sucked at, you know, figuring out the gambit system, my 21-year-old self or whatever that was. Probably gonna die to that many enemies at a time with one dude. They're on the they're on this quest. Okay, that makes more sense. I remember the word sunstone. Like, wait, those look like sunstones. I drop. Should be much easier for. I'm no, I'm much smarter and wiser now. You got outleveled by a boss, grinded over, killed the boss, and repeated. I got like halfway through the game and stopped playing. That's about that's me. I got a little bit further than halfway. I think I got to like this lighthouse place that's really important, then I stopped. I just I couldn't take it anymore. I don't even remember I, I, I planned to play it and then I just like yeah, I don't feel like playing it and I just kept never getting around to finishing it. 
So we'll finally be completing a game I never fit bothered before. I need to heal. I think this is the way I want to go, right? Lighthouse was your endpoint. Is this for a sin video? Eventually. But not for a while. I've already done... I've already released two FF videos this year. This one's going to probably sit on my hard drive for a while. You, you got it a second time and got to this... You, did, you didn't finish playing it at the same place a second time? That is impressive, actually. What did you miss? Uh, us killing more animals. This game has a slow start for an FF game, if you haven't noticed. More so than any other Final Fantasy game I know. Compare this to the beginning of FF7, by the way. Where you start off, you know, meeting cool characters and blowing up a facility. Men are off on their business while we women mind the village. Even the children do their part. They make their mistakes, of course, but they learn from it. You have a troubled look, child. What's the matter? Oh, come from Robin Aster, seeking a sunstone, have you? You might have guessed from the name sunstones contain the power of the sun. You'll often find them used as a source of heat or light. Here we leave all things sunstone to my Masua. You should be able to find her near the dark crystal. You see the larger black stone behind my tent? That is a dark crystal. You'll not find them outside the Giza Plain. The dark surfaces of the, d the crystal drink in the light of the sun. Masia, have you come to see the dark crystals? Not everyone takes well to the heat of the Giza Plain. Oh, so it is a sunstone you seek. You've come to the right place. They can only be made here in Giza. They're quite valuable, though. So we can't go handling them out. <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> I might need to make another cup of tea soon. <coughs> to just anyone who happens to wander through our camp. You see, we make and sell sunstones to earn this money to keep up to need we need to survive. Still, perhaps we can come to some arrangement. You hear my offer? Sure. Making some sunstone is a chore we give to the children of our camp. They roam the plains traveling from dark crystal to dark crystal, drawing the light from the crystals into sit into shade stones. One of these children, Jin, has not yet returned. Left carrying our supply of shade stones. If you'll find Jin for me and tell him to come home back to the camp, you may take one of the sunstones he's made in return. Some of the children said they might have seen him to the south of the camp. You may want to speak with them before leaving. Please find Jin and tell him to return at once. Were you just going to leave this kid to die until this random stranger showed up? Pinello? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same, though the answer is pretty clear. No good. What? I'm being good. Hmm. Is that right? So, then you wouldn't mind if I, say, tagged along, would you? Huh? Oh, don't worry. Miguel is busy with preparations. Wearing a leather bodysuit can't be comfortable in the desert. I'm free for the whole day. Or hot plains, whatever this is. Well, let's get going. Pinello joins the party. Well, hello there. The wary traveler never passes the chance to restock his supplies. Oh, I, I could use it with a new sword, even though I won't be able to use it. Hold it. But I also... How much? Enough potions of Libra. Reveal more detailed target information. License needed Libra. Oh, we can buy Cure now. Hmm. Not enough license points, strength. Not enough license points, stranger. I can't wait. If if the FF4, I mean FF4. If the RE4 remake is real, that's the one thing I'm looking forward to is a stranger in it. Uh, I didn't buy a sword from it, but... I guess since I bought that spell and I had the license for it, it automatically lets him use it, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I guess he can just now use Cure now that I bought the spell as well. So I guess he's good. Increases magic potency. 
cotton cap. Accessories. Okay, rod. Let's use rods later. Use butterfly. Pointy head. If I change, if I change uh, license jobs with Vaughn, does he keep the spells I've already gained for him, or does it only matter if he, if he? Yeah, I'm guessing you have to like stay as a white mage if you want to keep using cure. Mm, white magic box and poison. Uh, hmm. I think I'll save his points for now. What do you got, Pinello? Why should we make Pinello? Warriors who fight nimbly across hill and dale. Bushi. We can make we can make Pinello into a samurai. I mean, she doesn't look it, but we can make her into a samurai. Black mage, archer. What does she have equipped? Got a dagger as well. Pinello sounds like pasta. Yeah, I'm a Play-Doh, your best Pinello. I had a little bit of Parmesan on the top of it. Oh, Breaker. Warriors who use mighty weapons to tear foes asunder. That is a time battle mage. Monk. We could also make her into a Tifa. Unarmed in poles. Titanic's Achilles inflict elemental weaknesses. Give you the license board. Pinello is a good monk. That's what I was thinking of making her, actually. She's good as a black mage. I think we need a bit more of a... We might make her both of those. Work on both. Make her a black mage and a monk. Eight is one of your favorite favorites just because you like Squall. You like Mr. Whatever. I think I will make her a black mage to start off. I like 8 too. Well, when I say I like 8, I like the first half of 8. And I like a lot of the stuff 8 does. It just... Oh, that combat system just grinds to a, everything to a halt. Alright, so... Attack, essentials... Okay, I probably want fire and thunder. Uh, pointing at. You shouldn't be using draw in combat except to get GFs. So you're meaning you just synthesize all your items and then turn those into spells? That takes a lot, that takes a lot, long time too, especially at the beginning of the game when you can't really do it very well. So you have to do use draw for a, for, for a good chunk of the game until you, unless you want to play cards a lot, which also takes time. No matter what you're doing to get your spells, you're taking a lot of time. Increases magic potency. Takes 30 points though, so we could get that or we could get that stuff. One ten equals ten Kirangas. Like I said, you're still buying items. It's just very tedious no matter how you do it. Um, get the more expensive one right now. Oh yeah, I know you can get very broken in 8. Trust me, you can get very broken in both 7 and 8. And so broken, in fact, you're almost unbeatable. I've actually watched my brother do that in both games. I don't have to buy the fire spell by any chance. Yes, I do. Buy fire, please. Sixty gil left. The reason why people shit talk the draw system is because you can literally farm a certain treasure at the start of the game, get to level thirty, and then draw the most OP spells. Then put said spells into stats and become a god right away. Yeah, if you know what you're doing, yeah, you can break the shit out of that game. But most people are not going to figure that out very easily. Oh, this was the the, the Moogle I was supposed to talk you with. 
Just a traveling moogle trying to scrape by. I should be here while the, the dry holds, Koopo. But the monsters during the rains are too scary. The dry should last a while longer, but take care during the rains, Koopo. These big lighting balls don't mess around. Would you like to buy a map? Sure. The mechanics of combat are just turn-based, yes, but getting magic is tedious. Is yeah, just as I said, it just isn't a lot of fun to just if you, unless you really know what you're doing or read a guide beforehand, you're not going to figure out a lot of the intricacies of it. And then once you get magic spells, you usually don't want to use them because they junction to your stats and they make you more powerful. So you spend most of the game physically attacking everything. Well, you won't regret it, Moogle's Honor. So I like a lot of the atmosphere and characters in that game, but I just never could care for the, the combat system. We all went out to make some sunstones, but Jin still hasn't come back to camp. First time he's been out on the plains since the end of the brains. Maybe he got a touch of wanderlust. Guess what? I saw Jin off in the off in the south part of the plains in the crystal glade. He was right by a small crystal. I asked if he wanted to come back to camp with me, but he said he'll s he still had some work to finish up. The crystal glade is to the south of our village. Just head out into Giza Plain and wind your way south. We take breaks in the glade since monsters seem to stay away from it. How did I like the FF7 remake? I liked it a lot. It was really good. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm guessing you're asking me what I thought of like the changes they made toward the end. I don't think we can really tell how that's going to shape up until the next game. But as as it w as it stands on its own, I really enjoyed it. I was afraid to push him too hard to come back. Now I'm wondering if I did the right thing. It's quite hot here in Giza, but it's not all that bad if you can find a nice spot in the shade. Take care before heading out to the plains. I was killing these things earlier. Now they're farm creatures. The cockatrice, it isn't shy at your approach. It seems tame. It looks hungry. Look at that thing. No wonder they're farming these things. Look at all the meat. Looks like it wants to tell you something. Then again, maybe not. Looks like it wants to be left alone. Don't worry, they won't bite. These cockatrices are tame as can be. Aren't you just the fluffiest, cutest things you've ever seen? Looks like it has an itch on its back. Sure, I know Jen. Bruno was compliment. I know where he's at. It's all here. All hell spear chicken. Now that's a name. Today was rough. You're gonna take a couple shots, pour a drink, and relax. Oh, sorry you had a rough day, man. Hope tomorrow is a better one. Where did they tell me to go? Tell me to go south, right? But really, you have to go either way. No, down there is where you gotta go. Uh, this will continue adventuring along the path we came from. Hey Vaughn, let me give you these before we go. There's all sorts of monsters out there, so you can never be too careful. Obtain three potion, two tufts of phoenix downs. Power went out at work just long enough to shut everything down. Takes about ten minutes to start the registers. Oh, oh, a, a retail. Oh, yeah, I, I know how that goes. I have a lot of friends who have worked in retail and tell me that power outages are the worst, especially because you have to like do everything to keep the meat from spoiling. And we hit the pe the people cap so had to make people wait outside the store. And give commands to allies in your party, just like how you've been doing up for yourself up to now. I'll make my own decisions about what to do too. But you can also give me specific commands and I'll take care of those first, got it? And now change leaders and issue party commands. One more thing, if you don't want me to fight on my own, you can always turn my gambits off. I am a literal NPC. Program me, human. With my gambits turned off, I won't do anything until you give the word. 
You could really think about using gambits for yourself, you know. They can make managing a battle a lot easier. Gambits, this is where this is where it's gonna like destroy me. It's 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 a weird system. Vaughn, wasn't Jin supposed to be somewhere to the south of the village? If we work our way around, we should find him. And what's the thing is, you can program your gambits, but you also have to you'll level unlock new gambit ability your new gambit actions you can take. So you can't actually program them very well at the beginning. I'm guessing it's in what? That is. That's your spell so far. You like the game? I just never couldn't make it work very well. Hey, Mr. Darian, good to see you. Hey, Mr. Solar Powered, how you doing? Have I played Tactics? I fucking love Tactics. And I played the really crappy light localization, the original version on PlayStation 1. How do you change the gambits, by the way? Yeah, I know it's in the same world. You you, you even get a, the summons you get in this game are actually the the, the villains in that game. Whip? Quite well, not, but doesn't look like it. Forgot to say FF9. Probably not able to change gambits until the. Oh, you might be right. So where are we headed? Over there. You never played Tactics? I, the, the one thing I don't like about Tactics is how I, there's a certain part of the game that I got stuck on and I had to replay the entire game. Because of one stupid boss fight. It's near the end of the game too, and so I, I had to... Oof, I liked everything about that guy. He's that... I forget what his name was. He's like one of the guys who turns into like a, a blue-purple demon inside of a castle. But the game made you have a fight and save before Weegraf. Weegraf. Oh, that. Oof. Because you had to storm his castle, but you save immediately after doing that. And I saved over my save file, like, oh, I'm doing well. And then I had to fight Weegraf, and that motherfucker. I couldn't beat him, despite a month of trying and coming up with different strategies. And I, because I'd saved over my file, I was stuck there. I had to just restart. Functional. Yeah, I, I'm gonna guess you'll probably find a lot of stories similar to mine when it comes to Weegriff. Your sister had to replay FFX, FFX after she made her Aeons overpowered? Oh, so she couldn't beat them, the dark versions of them or something? Or the, the I, oh, you mean the, oh no, the final fights with them. I didn't know you could actually, you'll get, make them over, too overpowered for that. Show my face? I'll do another level. Whoa, fast snick. That was weird and creepy. I'll do another, yo, know, webcam stream eventually. Soon, I guess maybe. So all the all the you, can, you guys you guys can get it out of your system. It's been a while. Hey, well, welcome back. You know, let's actually use a technique. Gambit's on. Yeah, her gambits are on. Nick is after Metal Gear. We can turn anything into a Metal Gear meme, can't we? You shouldn't be drinking booze? Well, just don't drink it excessively. Or when you're feeling sad. Okay, Vaughn, you need to heal. Oops, we're messing up my girl. Where'd Penelope? Gonna let her die. Hey, welcome back. You beamed in from the starship, right?
Just make sure that uh, Raven Medley is there. Well, I, I have no way of contacting her to let her know that her, uh, uh, my face will be on stream, you know. You just have to be, you know, luck out and show up, but... Do, do, you know that'd be a lot of trouble, you realize. Uh, hi, uh, Millwright, how you doing? Welcome. Hurry your heart at its already barely functioning level. You don't want it getting any worse. So, yeah, this is a big empty spot. Oh, shit. Fighting this plus bird ain't good. Attack. I need to make her use fire or something. Oh, she's already got ma white magic. Damn. She's already said it to be a white mage. Raven hasn't been here for a while. Well, she has bad internet, so she can't always show up. Cash fire on snake. Oh, the snake dead. It's definitely like a really fiddly game, to be honest with you. And now you gotta like, move through every, every, all your menus. I think that was another thing I didn't really enjoy about it. It's very fiddly. And it's... It, they, I honestly think this game kind of inspired FF7 Remake's <clears throat> combat system because it feels similar to it, just better. Is this my favorite in the series? No, my favorite is 9, and now kind of 7 Remake. What do I think of the Iron Man VR game coming out this summer? I haven't seen anything of it. I mean, is it like PlayStation exclusive? If so, I can't even play it. You can make yourself a bagel. I haven't had a good bagel in a while. I need to rectify that. Then again, there's a lot of stuff I've been meaning to make. I just haven't had time. I still want to make it like a really good pulled pork Cubano sandwich. But I gotta like, it takes a while to be able to put that together. I'm not sure where this goes. Oh, don't need to go here. This is uh, Dalmasco Western. Yeah, definitely that place. Don't want to go. further we got to get to this kid. He's in that little island of whatever that is. Kill the moth bunny. Don't run into the lizard bin. Or, or werewolf. I thought they were lizards. Oh no, Dardian is playing one of the greatest FF. Really, you like this game, Bizarre God? That surprises me. The fact that you put oh no there makes me think you're just making an ironic statement. brother used to play this one all the time. Actually, the same with me. My little brother loved this game. I think he did, like, everything in it. Well, I just, like, quit at some point. Like, eh, hey, you take it on. Oh, it's a Nixion. Or Slipnir, as they call it here. You're one of those little brothers, and you love it. You know, little, little brother games. You know, we need a new genre. 
game that's good for little brothers to play, then older brothers get tired of. Slipnir is the name of the Odin's horse. Yeah, they used to call that Ixion, though. In, in other games, I think they did. It's a lightning horse, too. Dude, I want to risk fight. They look like they're guarding something. Come, we'll try to aggro one of the werewolves. Come, Mr. Werewolf. Oh, fuck, no. Fuck, no. That's insta-death. Run. Run. Fucking law. Oh, thank you, game. I like that. That was good. A little warning next time. Maybe put like a skull above their head so I'm like, hey, if I, they're like 10 levels above me. Oh, I know it's a game you have to grind through. That's why I said I'm not going to just straight up play it every day. It's one of those games I'll come back to from time to time. And I'm not planning to do a video on it anytime soon either. Yes, yes, I know. Why didn't I load the autosave? I didn't see it. Yeah, you know, fuck shit. My problem, my fault. Just to have Libra by this point? Well, they didn't make me get it, so I'm not supposed to have it. Well, all that fighting and leveling, gone. Do it again. Speed on. Will I ever sin FFX2? I'm not, I, I might at some point, but I just can't say when. The thing with that game, you have to beat it multiple times. Which makes it a bit of a pain in the ass if you want to get the entire story. God damn it. God, she goes down easy, doesn't she? God, I want to die again. No, no fucking pause. Oh. You know, I found out a secret when it's on 4x speed, it's really hard to control everything. Am I gonna fight Yizmet? I don't even know what the hell that is. There's something I need to check, do real quick. Wait. That was the problem. Okay, now it stops like it's supposed to. May want to set the game back to active there. This game is designed to be a MMO. I know it's designed to be an MMO. I've been mentioning that many times tonight. Everything about it feels like an MMO. It's the reason I stopped playing it back in the day. It's essentially, essentially it's a single player MMO. Alright, now, now we can actually do this properly. Cash fire on the bird. Yizmat is a super boss with 50 million HP. All right, do you think I'm actually going to you know, do everything that would be necessary for me to fight that? All the preparation time that likely takes. This isn't the completion as you're watching. You realize. Things are going well now. Happy with our results. Competently play a Final Fantasy game. Clearly play. I did really good at FF9 and 7 Remake. You watch your mouth, son. I'll have you speak an ill of me and my FF set my FF abilities. It's just I'm not interested in fighting a goddamn super boss that has 50 million HP. 
That's it. Fast running is weird. That's because I... It's a nice feature. It may be weird, but it's nice. I'm not complaining. Kill. I don't like grinding. Most people don't. Actually, most Final Fantasy games don't require grinding, or at least in my experience. I mean, I, well, at least the ones I've played. Maybe the older ones do, but I've played through 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, most of 12, all of 13 and its sequels, and then 15 and 7 Remake. And I've played far grindier RPGs. If you use Yojimbo, that 50 million boss fight, you can... Ooh, wait. Oh, is Yojimbo in this game too? That's how I beat y'all y'all jacked back in FF10. It was glorious. Just paid him all my money. There is no Yojimbo, of course not. Okay, don't go near werewolf. I don't know what they're guarding down there, but it ain't worth it. Chronos' Tears. How many special bosses have I beaten? Uh, tell us you beat the Ruby Weapon. I beat, uh, Ultima Weapon in that game. Beat Cloud's Ultimate, uh, Ultimate Weapon. I think that's where you get that from, right? The Glowy Mass Buster Sword? And then I beat... No, I never beat Ruby Weapon. I didn't bother with it. My older brother did. He beat both Emerald and Ruby. Emerald and Ruby. I have beat Ozma in FF9 originally, though. I 100%ed it at Final Fantasy IX back in the day. But 100 in games is not usually my goal. I don't really care for that. It usually involves a lot of tedious stuff. Yeah, you did get it by defeating Ultimate Weapon? Yeah, I know, Ultimate Weapon, Ultimate Weapon. It's a good play on words, isn't it? Stay away from the werewolves and we're fine. Child. There is a... Even though it's... I don't know if you could count it as super boss in Final Fantasy X, I did beat Ultima Weapon, or was it Omega Weapon in X that you fight in that dungeon? But I think there are bigger super bosses you fight in FF10 than that thing. I don't even remember it being that hard. And I also beat some of the super bosses in 8. And like I said, I beat Ozma in 9. Someone used the trophy hunt to ex to hunt to extend game life when you were you were broke. You have 25%, 100% platinum trophies. Yes, it's very tedious. Now my name is Jin. What's it to you? Masia wants me to come back to the village, huh? Hmm, that could be a problem. Let's see. Maybe my leg's better now. Nope, no good. Still hurts. I tripped running from some monsters. Guess I pulled something. I'm never gonna get any sunstones made like this. Just needed to make one more to be finished for today. I didn't want to head back short, so I thought I'd give my leg a rest and try again. Why are you out here looking for me? Explain the situation. Need a sunstone, huh? Well, if Masia doesn't mind, I'll give you a shade stone. But I'm still not sure I can walk yet. You'll have to turn it into a sunstone, okay? Don't worry, I'll tell you how. You do need... You do know that we use dark crystals and shade stones to make sunstones, right? Paint a shade stone. In 10, Ultima and Omega weapon are super easy. It's, uh... Just... P-A-O-D Yojimbo and his one-shot kill works on them, yeah. But the, the, the real super boss in 10 is the in the fighting arena, isn't it? Or like the monster thing? You have obtained bagel and chocolate milk. Truly, those are good RPG items. There's your shade stone. As for the dark crystals, you'll find them all over Giza Plains. This stone here, right here beside me, is one of the smaller ones. 
The bigger crystals have something inside that soaks up sunlight and shines really bright. See that one over there? If you take that shade stone I just gave you and bring it near one of those shining dark crystals, it will absorb the energy from it. There are four shining dark crystals in Giza right now. If you have trouble finding them, just stop and scan the horizon. There's no way to tell how much energy you can draw from one crystal without trying. You should need to use all four, though. This gauge will show you how much energy the shade stones absorbed. When it's full, you'll have yourself a sunstone. Once you've made the sunstone, bring it to me. I'll make sure it's up to snuff. I'll go ahead and mark the crystal dark crystals on your map, too. See you back when you're done. Ozma was in 14. Uh, Hades is also in 14, right? The One of those optional bosses in 9. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I yeah I beat him in my recent play playthrough of Final Fantasy IX. You never did beat FF12, neither did I. And he remains pointless from what I, from where I got to in the game. Yeah, he was still pointless. He's a fake main character, is what he is. Right, grab the sunstones. Fourteen has near automata content. Yeah, that was something they had recently, wasn't it? Didn't they? T didn't they for a while let everyone have like a, a character modification that would give you two B's butt, and then they took it out? I think I remember reading like, articles about that. They still have it. I think, yeah, but I think it was more of it was a, a better butt at one point in time. Like, they, they made her butt less, you know, glorious. Right? Or something like that? Like, oh, that's too risque. Make her butt flatter. But it's not canon. Do it. Do it. It was an accident. How do you accidentally make an ass flatter? Hmm. FF14 is weird, it's an MMO. They always get weird. You know this opening era area right here in FF12 is bigger than the entire uh, like you know, open area you get to explore in Final Fantasy 13. Yeah. Which was in a, which was on a different console generation, mind you. How does one go about making the perfect omelet, chef? Hmm. Uh, it's really about how well you can cook the egg without you know getting that too overcooked. I feel. And then it's just really hey, what ingredients you want in it. There aren't really that many rules when it comes to making an omelet. The dark crystal ready, it's a brilliant light. Hold the shade stone up to the crystal. Here's how you make proper when you when you're scrambling the egg. Uh here's what I do. Uh I scramble the I don't scramble the egg until it's actually in the hot pan. I crack the egg open into it, and a lot of people scramble their eggs in a bowl before they pull it pour it in. Uh crack those eggs right into the pan while it's you know, at medium heat. Then start scrambling them. Then add your salt and pepper into it. And then don't overcook it. As Gordon Ramsay says, if you can cook a scrambled egg, you can pretty much cook anything. It's the truth, I say. The rabbit. That's called beating the egg. Well, not an egg. You beat, you beat your kids, you scramble an egg. Don't put salt into it uh, afterwards. No, yeah. You first you put you crack your eggs open into the uh, the medium hot pan, and then after you scramble them in that, then only then do you add salt and pepper. Also, pr consider adding a little bit of cheese into it. That's always a good thing. Well, for an omelet, you always add cheese, but I always add a little touch of parmesan into my scrambled eggs. I guess we just need to go that way. Up. 
Opa, joia. Oh, no, there's a, there's a crystal. Kill this abomination right now. Hmm. Now we're getting into dangerous territory? How so? Well, I need to heal, that's for sure. Oh, I just, I, I'm just, I aggroed a few too many. Okay, everyone gets healed. Drugs are a miraculous thing, you say. With chat, not the game? Well, I like to think it was both. What class? Right now, Vaughn is a white mage and Pinello is a black mage. Not bad. Maybe this won't take so long after all. This is what the kids on Giza Plains do to make their way. Maybe one of them will take you on as an apprentice. Oh yeah, yeah, let's just find the next crystal, okay? Hmm. Not much experience from the rabbits, are there? Your mood's done a full 180 after getting home and taking a few shots and a drink. Well, that, the drink helped on I'm gonna guess. Alright, we gotta go up and around to get the next crystal. Then we'll come back to the camp. The speed mode really saves you a lot of time. Thank you, Square of Land Edition. Three gil. Fuck you for that, though. So, chat, what do you think of FF12 so far? I'm curious now that you've actually seen the gist of the gameplay. Have I seen Showgirls? You mean actual Showgirls or the movie Showgirls? The answer is no to both. In my opinion, was Lightning a good character? No. Not at all. Looks like an MMO, but worse. You know, th that's always been my impression of it. it. Single player turned into... An MMO turned into a single player, I should say. <clears throat> but this game did come right on the heels of FF11. Uh, so I'm guessing they just took a lot that they learned from that. <clears throat> you don't drink often, but so you're a lightweight. Easy to get that nice buzz feeling, which is what you aim for. You don't get drunk drunk too often. As long as you're taking care of yourself. A little drinking's fine. You know, you don't really need the uptime code anymore. There's actually a clock right on Twitch that shows you how long I've been up. I've been up exactly three hours and four minutes. Or is that only because I have Franker face and BBT installed? Can you guys see that clock below the stream? As you've gotten older, getting shit faced just isn't really worth it. I've I've never really considered it worth it. I, I, I can honestly say I have never been drunk once in my life. I'm probably one of the few people I, I actually I'm the only person I know outside of like younger, really younger people that can say that. Alcohol just never interested me. Then I had a lot of motivations not to do it because there's a lot of alcoholics in my family. I was like, you know what, I'd rather not get started. You have Franker face though? Hmm. Maybe it's BBTV that shows it. Hmm. 
Fuck, you killed Pinello? God damn it. I thought she would survive that. You're 28 and you've never been drunk. Good on you, man. You don't really need it. You'll be the uptime bot when you're sober. Highly recommend that I spec my characters toward physical attacks and weapon usage. And magic as a sport, it'll make grinding easy when you can't when you can set up auto attacks and just forget about the game. Well I'm not really planning to use these two very much. They're not that good. The other characters are way better. As soon as I get better characters, these two are our first two characters in the game. We're treating like those two human characters you get in a Mass Effect game. You never use them. They're just there for cutscenes. Where am I going? We don't want to go back to Robin Astor. We need that next crystal. Thirty-seven. You drank often enough over the years, but you have never been drunk. Well, that means you've kept it in check, then. Like, I'm not one of these like you know hard-boiled guys. Like, no, never drink. What, what is it? Straight edge? They call it? I'm not that. I just choose not to do it myself. Though, though if I recognize a friend has a problem, then I might have to step in. Like, man, you might want to cut back just a little bit. Oh yeah, you're right, the characters in FF12 don't really matter, but it's all about their licenses, but I just like, I like those characters better. They're all kind of blank slates. Kobe Bryant, Lakers ring, he gifted his mom, sells for 206k. Hmm. Did she, wait, did his mom sell it? You've got a sunstone, let's take a look. Hmm, seems okay to me. Not bad for city folk. So here's what happened. Mas Masio is always warning us to stay away from the werewolves, right? Well, a bunch of us decided we'd have a little contest, see who's the bravest. I started as a lark, but Tot said that none of us kids living in the plains should be scared of monsters. I guess I got carried away. Hmm. Don't let any of the grown-ups know, though, okay? Now, if you want to play a game where you have a real Sky Pirate main character, then you gotta hit up Skies of Arcadia. Anyway, my leg's feeling better now. Let's head back to the village. I'll race you. Try and keep up. And then he died. Holy shit, this game is British. Oh, it's very British. It's trying to be Star Wars, that's why it's so British. The only thing this game is missing is a lightsaber. Even the enemies, the main bads in this game, are all dressed up in like, like Darth Vader, and act like, act a little bit like him. Jin made it back home safe and sound. He is a good boy, but now his mind wanders. He never thinks of the worry it causes me. Sorry if he was any trouble. Please take these with my thanks. Tank 50 guilt, two potions, and two teleport stones. Jin gave you a sunstone, yes? I hope it may be of some help to you. We need to save. Does that mean you're going to meet an old wizard soon? Uh... It, it, you mean like Obi-Wan? Sort of, actually. You do meet an older man who teaches you the ways of what you want to do in life. So you're not wrong on that. He just isn't a wizard. It's more of a Han Solo kind of character, actually. And instead of a hairy Chewbacca, he has a sexy bunny girl with a nice ass. Star this game can be described as Star Wars, but it's Chewbacca is hot. You see, that's a far fewer words and a far better description. What can we... We should probably buy a broadsword. And then sell off... Hmm, but the dagger.
Actually, the attack power on the broadsword and the dagger is exactly the same. So what's the point? They're basically the same thing. How far did I get in this game? I got pretty far. I got up to this magical lighthouse place and then I stopped. I never came back. Libra. I guess we should buy Libra. That took all my money though. Trust, the, the characters of this game get a lot better. Trust me. We're just have to. We're stuck with the two most least interesting ones for right now. The rest of the cast is actually really good. It just Pinello and Vaughn are just oh, they're like blank slates and they never get written in. So they're like a character sheet that no one bothered ever, ever to finish. All right, so we have what about license points? We do have license points. I'm not sure what Vox even does. Stuck in the Kingdom Heart 2 tutorial, huh? If Vaughn were a sandwich, he'd be a slice of white bread between two other pieces of white bread. Uh, there might be a layer of mayonnaise in there. And maybe a, a, a tiny chunk of pickle somewhere in there too that you might eventually bite into. Like, oh, there is a little bit of flavor here. Hmm. to call him off. Pinello, you. Magic potency. Uh. Oops, staff. good for now. We need a darted gun emote, do you? Apparently we need an emote for everything, but hey, I only got so many slots, you realize. And I, I saved the, the personalized darting emotes for my actual official Twitch emotes. All my Franker face emotes are basically just stupid jokes. So, since only so many people actually have bothered to uh, install Franker Base and use it. Alright, let's get back to whatever we need this sunstone for. Where are we headed? Back to town. Old Dylan's gonna cough up a chocobo when he sees this sunstone. We need to go up and out. I think this is the right way. Yeah. Robin Aster's over there. By the way, make sure you level up with all of them. Some of the story parts forces you to, yeah, I'm aware. Unless they've changed that for this re release. But probably haven't. This game hasn't aged well. Well, the mechanics haven't, but the actual graphics still look good to me, surprisingly. Like, I don't look at this and think, wow, this game looks old and ugly. It's like, it actually looks pretty good still. It, granted, it kind of looks like a really good Minecraft build from how square everything is, but hey, that ain't bad. We can turn off speed now, too. Well, the face is yellow, but the character models, even for that, it's still not too shabby. I mean, there are PS2 games that have aged way worse than this. 
Take a look at the poll. Uh, I can't right now. I have to click out of the game. What is it? Are you enjoying Final Fantasy XII? Uh, what's the answers? Weren't the textures remastered? I don't know if they were or not. They've, they've, it's definitely a higher res than what it was on PS2. And some other improvements. But all, most of the graphics are going to be the same. Back into the city. Here we go. Go talk to the old man smoking a pipe. Who's my favorite Final Fantasy protagonist? Zidane. What's up, TS? How you doing? Good majority are liking it. A few mez and some loving it. The question is, though, is that because I'm playing it and being so suave and funny and entertaining? Or because I just really enjoy the game? Since I have no money, it's not even worth checking the shops. But we need to get downstairs. Actually, the, the Lowtown Gate was down back behind me. Prompto and Ignis are so fun to play in the in the main game. Oh. I'm one of those weirdos that actually like 15, though. A lot of people I found don't didn't like 15. You're doing well. Well, good. You're doing well. I'm doing well too. I wonder if they'll actually ever go back and do a, you know, uh, a non-modern sci-fi Final Fantasy. This is the last one they did, well, besides MMOs. This is the last single-player, you know, actual fantasy one they did, where it's set in old, ye olden times. Everything else has been like sci-fi or modern. Hey, Vaughn? Huh? It's been a long time since we did anything together. Too long. I had a really good time. Well, I should probably be getting back to the store. Actually, I was kind of supposed to be watching the place for Magello. And Vaughn, try to stay out of trouble. For me, I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here. If something happened to you. I'm not going anywhere, okay? That's what I wanted to hear. See you later. I'm guessing the audio, the, the voice acting audio in this game is a little low bitrate, because it sounds a little crunchy. But I guess that was another limitation of the PS2. And they could, they didn't maybe have the original sound files anymore. Or maybe it would have been too much work. But, yeah, a lot of the audio for when they talk sounds a little uh, low res. Also, Valkyrian. Thank you for the 13 months. Stay awesome. I will try my best. No promises, though. We got our sun, your, our, your sunstone, old man. Oh ho! So you've got a sunstone, have you? Hand it over, my boy, and I'll use it to give the crescent stone back its magics, like I promised. Now you'll be wanting to know how to sneak into the palace, eh? First, you go to Storehouse Five. You know the one. Two doors she has. Now the right takes Van Ratsbane to his territorial hunting grounds in the sewer bottom. But that's not the way you'll go. No, you'll take the left door down into the Garam Scythe waterway. The waterway leads to a stair. The stair to the palace cellars. That's your way in. But don't go counting your gill just yet, my boy. Getting into the palace was the easy part. The way into the treasury is carefully hidden. That's where this crescent stone comes in. The magics it bears can open the hidden door to the treasury, you see. Listen, Vaughn, for the words I shall speak are most important and not to be forgotten. Do you understand? The Signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way. Once in the palace, you'll find the Signet tile. Very important. Give to it the sun's power and it will light your path. Very well. 
Oh, a warning. Be aware that if you're caught, you'll spend the rest of your short life rotting in the Nalbina dungeons. So, look sharp, my boy. And don't go running off before you're ready. Plans freshly hatched have a habit of tumbling from the nest straight into the hunter's stew pot. <laughs> The voices sound tinny and good. That's what I'm saying. They're a bit crunchy. You have officially decided mod view sucks. Uh, I haven't checked it out in a while. Is it? It's it's probably there's a lot of it's a it's a little busy looking. I'll give it you that though. But you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Until Twitch forces you to. Who knows? Sometimes it'll be like that. Oh no, it's completely optional. For a month. Neath Rabanasta, Gamer the Garum Scythe Waterway. Squads 326 are in place. They stand ready. So far, the Imperials haven't noticed a thing. Then go now and hurry the others. By nightfall, we must ensure all our men are in place. Sir. Sir. You want a Wild West Final Fantasy? I... I kind of agree with that statement. That's actually a good idea. I never even thought of that. That could be good. What's a mod view? It's a uh, special uh, set of tools here on Twitch for mods. Red Dead Fantasy. Yeah, that. I'd be down for that. All right, up there we go. Once again, I have no money, so there's no point talking to anyone or going to anyone's shops. Pretty sure I have no money. Yeah, I've got 23 gil. Hmm. Now you want a Western FF since FF basically ignores the rules of don't bring a sword. Well, it would be a West. There, there would still be swords. They could make. Re they could bring back the gun blade though. Think about it. That, and that can actually. Uh, that was a really good idea. Who, you know, whoever had that, that's not bad. I'd be down for playing that. If they announced Final Fantasy 16, it was Western themed. I'm like, hey, good. Red Dead Fantasy would be good as long as Square Enix didn't do like Rockstar and go overboard with the simulation stuff. Well, that's not what FF is about. Also, they don't—they wouldn't put that much money. In that. How much did Red Dead Redemption 2 cost to make, by the way? That had to be one of the most expensive games ever made. sells nothing but onion bolts and other stuff. If ye your last ye last haw as a protagonist unsheathes their buster gun blade. SAO features a main character who blocks bullets with a lightsaber. What is SAO? Oh no, never mind. That sword on online anime, isn't it? Never watched it. Uh, like I said, not my kind of thing. We're headed up this way. To choose the left door, didn't they? Hey Vaughn, I finally worked out how to get the door to the left side open. I hope there's something in there besides rats. I wanted you to go I wanted you to go in first, so I wanted I waited for you to come before opening it. Well that's one of the reasons I waited. Thing is, I'm gonna need some special tools to open the door. Gonna need you to go fetch them for me. I know I know, not the most exciting thing to do, is it? Heh <laughs> heh. I'm just messing with you. I've got everything. Oh, game is japing me. That was gonna give me a fetch quest. Ready to go. Hang on while I open it. Red Dead Redemption 2 had a development cost of between 80 and 100 million US dollars. Oof. I should do it. 
Ug Urg Ong Group. It's open. Now we've got a whole another place to explore. Oh, and I almost forgot. Take these with you before you go. No telling what's down there. Might come in handy. I mean, I, I've never watched Sword Art Online. I'm just not in that, that kind of anime. I'm very picky. I, I only watch anime with the cute girls, you see, who do cute high school girl things. Do you think they intentionally pick names that'd be difficult for everyone to say? The Gamma Scythe had, had what away. How many save files do we get? Plenty. Apparently people really hate SA this SAAO thing. What what has it done to you, chat? Calling it a waterway is incorrect. It should be called sewer level. Well, Gemrith sent sewer doesn't really, you know, send tingles down the spine now, does it? How do we get them excited? I mean, it is a very luxur luxurious sewer, by the way. No, maybe it's an actual aqueduct. It could actually be an aqueduct. The water looks very clean. And they've done a lot to make it very Art Deco, too. You don't really usually make a sewer Art Deco. Well, it is full of rats. Never mind. That's usually a sign of a sewer. Sao has a Mary Sue who often breaks the logic of the world, just like how he came back from being dead when death was permanent. Well, he's also uh, in a video game world, so hey, maybe that's just you'll know, keep into the actual tropes. Like, isn't that like an MMO? Like they're all stuck in an MMO or something? That's about all I know about it. But hey, it's, at the end of the day, it's just a TV show. If you die in the game, you die for real, huh? Yeah, but that's always the case. There's always going to be, that's always just a plot device to try to add drama to it. But then it always gets, they never go through with it. Like someone will die, but they'll still, Neo did the same thing for God's sake. We love that movie. But then again, Neo was Digital Jesus, too. Not sure who this uh, the main character of that was and what, why he came back to life. Not sure where to go in this place, to be honest with you. Corito is called BR Jesus is a joke. I see. Yeah. I don't like it when the enemies try to flee for me to survive. Kind of annoying. I, I just saw the comment I like Corito's cousin sister. And I just gotta read that like, eh, hey, I like I like his sister. You always gotta read that comment in that style of voice. I like his sister too. She's one hot chulo. Hey man, lay off the sister. Cause I just got off of yours. Yeah. 
Am I fighting a manta ray or a bat? I'm, I'm, I'm not- I'm, I'm right, Tread. There's some lines you can read no matter what, and you always read it in the most skeeviest voice you can think of. Wait, they actually incest? Okay. Cool, uh, I guess. Weird. And according to me, enemies should throw all sense of preservation away in a video game? Yes. Because it's not usually fun to re when you run after an enemy fleeing. It just ain't, even if it's realistic. It's okay, it's in a video game? Well, yeah, you're right. Two dudes can get married in a video game and have it not be gay. Like, no, I'm playing a female character and he's male. Perfectly fine. We got Leisner's Porch. I'm beginning to think I should make him, you know, now that I got a few spells with him, I should make him into a fighter, since I'm apparently going to have to do a lot of sword fighting for right now. I'm not exactly using spells that often. Let us make him into a, uh, what? Then again, I don't have a, I don't have a sword to equip to him. Time Battle Mage. Ruby fights nimbly across Heal and Dale. Heal up. I, I just picked up a broadsword? You're, oh, okay. Maybe I can make him into a knight. All the warriors who wield swords and shield. What is Red Battle Mage? Battle Mage equally skilled with maces and magic. Alright. Where is your fight nimbly across all basically ninja is what I'm guessing that is. European ninja. Ninja swords. Okay, yep, definitely ninja. Maybe I should make him into a ninja. Can I not even change that now? I thought I could change this. Apparently not. Maybe it's later you can change it. Oh well. That, I guess. What? Why is this not working? Oh, your sister is like one of your Japanese anime. Okay, that, that's too insulting. Tain rods one. I guess we should go ahead and equip our sword, though. No, I can't. I need the, I need the license for it. I forgot. God, that system. Oh, you annoy me. Uh, equip the cotton cab, then. Boy, you got a license for that, Rod. Right, you can't use it yet, then, Bob. Stick to killing rats with your dagger, I say. But you can make anyone an important class, so... I, I think you can change it later, too. I 
think. That's what I was told earlier. Okie dokie. It also made me... It actually made me make him a white mage, I think. At the beginning of the game. I didn't have a say in it. These randomly appearing chests. I'm guessing they're random. Are really annoying. Like, oh, I went through the hallway for two gil. Does anyone need a ferret? Are you selling ferrets? Do you think you can mail them to people? Or are you just hoping someone lives near you? Those are awfully smooth looking rats. Oh, come back, you're running into the fish! Is hyperlink blocking still on uh, on Twitch? Yes. Though people who have a VIP status can you know, post links. But very few people have that. Come on. Catch the rat. Also, Aaron Min, thank you for your two months sub, man. Thank you. <clears throat> How do you get VIP? I have to assign it to you. I haven't, I've only really given it out to a few people when I was testing it out. Most people, most streams don't bother using it at all. So I just never had bothered taking it off anyone. Except for one person who asked for it to be taken off. Well, you're, you're not a, well, you're, you're, mad, you're mad now though. How do you get VIP? Oh, I already answered that question. I'm reading the same comment twice. Can you get VIP removed? You don't have VIP on. I mean, you don't have a VIP. But if I wanted to remove it, yeah, I can remove VIP if I give it to someone. That's how it works. Let's see if I can steal something from it. Wouldn't. Then again, what do you expect to steal from a fish? Can you- oh, you're asking if you would get the VIP that you remove- Oh, you're asking if I can give you the re VIP that I removed from the other guy. Uh, I'm not planning to give them out right now to anyone. I mean, there's not really much point to it. All it does is give you a little badge and the ability to post links. And I don't really want people to be able to just post links. That's something kind of reserved for mods, since you never know what someone will post. What's up? How's it going, buddy? It's going well. I like that you called me buddy, too. That's very friendly. But, uh, no, we're just killing rats in a sewer dungeon. Very classic RPG. I don't know if they were doing that intentionally, just like just because of your, it's in the handbook, but they did it. Like this is what RPGs now avoid: the the rat sewer killing mission at the start of the game. But this game started out with it, and the rats run away from you and make themselves even more annoying. Yeah, I'm at a high enough level, but still, they're in front of me, and I and I killed everything I see. Oh, we got a javelin, you say? Can't use it though. I ain't got the license. The license that spear, sir. Like, who's actually going to enf enforce these licenses? By the way, like, what? Couldn't you just ignore it if you really wanted to? I'm just saying. Talk to you about.
Mm, Neo 2's Deluxe Edition is on sale for $53. Tempted to get it. It's a pretty good game. If you like Neo 1, you'll like it. Am I researching this game? Yes, this is a research stream. I wouldn't play a game like this for laughs. It's too much work involved for fun. That that's a that's not a good thing to say about this game, is it? But it's the truth. It's there's a lot of work to play through this game. So yeah, I I don't expect I'm not planning to do a video on it anytime soon though. It's one of those things I'm just banking footage away for for a future date. That way I'll already have a playthrough. No, no one has powers over the mods. They just have the ability to post links if they have that. And like I said, they never use it anyways because they're responsible people. I wasn't trained to play long games. Then when you play them slow, well, it's not so much trained as like not wanting to. Which is weird because I do like RPGs. Palace should be right up these stairs. Climbs the stairs. Now... I answered the question three if you wish to leave, apparently. It's like, are you sure you want to leave the sewers? Don't you want to kill more rats? You love me, I'll love you back. Also, what is that badge you got by your name, uh, 21 Yoshikage? I've never seen that before. What does that symbolize? You're feeling like Jim Logan right now. Over what? Posting lore? Talking about Mortal Kombat or Marvel? Oh, the real characters have arrived. Hmm. What's turned off in moderation settings? Like I said, maybe someone turned it off, I don't know. It's the good luck have fun pledge badge? Oh, okay, I get you now. Paint a map of the royal palace of Revanaster. Having a message you've highlighted three times be ignored? Well, I well, if it happens, I mean, I can't read everything chat says. I do have to play a video game. Sometimes I just don't see what you write. It's as simple as that. Let me, let me tell you how this, this works. Usually when I look over to read chat, I, le I read the bottom 20% uh, of what's on chat. That's where my eyes fall. And then I go back to playing the game while I respond to something. If your comment happened to become like... Uh, say 30 seconds before that and got pushed to the top, I usually don't see it because I'm only reading like the bottom half. <clears throat> but I, I don't intentionally single anyone out to ignore their comments, that's for sure. Unless they're just trying to be annoying or something. Oh, you're making me feel bad. Is that what you intended? It's not what I expected. This is a servant girl, you say? Dressed like that? <clears throat> that does not look like a servant's clothes. Not seen you around. Were you hired especially for the feet, the feet tonight? Then you should be waiting over by the stairs down the corridor to the end. I'm being bullied. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, it's true. I'm being bullied. I, I need pity, chat. Pity me. Hugs, yes, mini hugs. Maybe one of you more knowledgeable people in chat can tell me what a feat is. I keep thinking it's like a festival, and they're just calling it a different word. Gathered up all the occasional good. We'll be on cleanup duty when the feat's over. Wait until we're ready for you. 
No one goes to the upper floor until we give the order. Step out of line and you will be punished. Feet is what you... F-E-T-E, -E, not feet as in feet you walk on. I'm, you know what, you, you, read it, you read the line just like I did. Don't pretend. Trying to be sly with me. I'm the only one who gets to be yo, clever here, you know. I myself a little exploration around the parish. Lots of interesting things in here and guards to make sure I don't take them. Clean up for the fit. Hmm. Maybe there'll be some leftover treats. I always wonder what it's like to, you, to be born into a world where there's multiple intelligent species. You gotta think the racism is really powerful here. It's indeed a festival. Wait here until I have further directions for you. What's he doing? Trying to go upstairs. Trying to go upstairs, ain't you? I know. You're hungry. Don't blame you. An empty stomach will make me want to crash the fit, too. No, no, no. You're trying to hide it. Look here. I'll help you out. Okay, so press X to call the guard. I'll handle him when he comes. And you make for the stairs. <clears throat> oh, get too close and he's liable to notice you. Let's give her a try. Hey, Buckethead. Now's your chance to get going. That easy, huh? Top notch security. Ironically, when he said, Hey, Buckethead, his voice was so, you know, crusty that it sounded like he was in a bucket himself while giving the line. What was it old Dolan said? The signet yearns for sunstone strength to light the clouded way, but there was more, oh yeah. Once in the palace, you'll find the signet tile. Give it to the sun's power and it will light your path. Looks like I've got a signet to find. What's with the little text box? What do you mean? <clears throat> you, might have an, you might have one of the Twitch extensions on or something. Those reuse re lines are magical. There's a reason why Captain Boosh became a meme. Hmm. I never heard of this meme. Must have been a bit, you know, glued to the Final Fantasy community. Guessing I don't want to be seen. Or maybe they don't even care, actually. You'll know what meme I'm talking about by level 20, give or take. Mm. What are you doing here, or should you be waiting? Okay, he just didn't see me until I was literally six, a few meters from him. It just restarts you over. Good stuff. Box signet. Beautiful signet is painted upon the floor. It appears to be a representation of a hawk. Uh, I guess I use it here. Nothing happened. It's the stay away from the summoner. That line, you mean? That's good stuff, don't lie. I okay, can't get past you. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta shout. heard that summoner has a nice ass and it's hard to tell she's wearing the dress hey buckethead hello 
Go back, do they? No, didn't think I could. Yes, yes, I get you. Yeah, trapped myself, didn't I? I think I need to get these guys to actually come down this way, then go around. Hey, Buckethead. This is the worst stealth I've ever seen. Like, hey, who said that? Was it that kid running away from us? That guy didn't see me. Lion signet. No, oh, try it. Light of the sunflower flows into the signet. Hidden way is lit. Getting around now. Oh, fuck. Mm. Well, fuck. Try myself again. Hey, Buckethead. Oh, I guess I'm just stupid. Excuse me, I'm lost, good sir. tip I have a map and I don't use it yeah but I don't need it I'm more than a man you see hey buckethead I'm experimenting chat that's how you that's how a real gamer does anything over here those guys won't move hey, when they're singular singular Lead them around all over the place, huh? Horrible security. Gotta admit, it's it's a piece of jank, piece of garbage gameplay. Give me that at the very least. Oi, 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 worthless FFT. I'm glad that everyone recognizes that Vaughn is just like, who is this guy again? Can't wait for the You'll be waiting a while. I'm not planning on doing a video on it anytime soon since I've already released two FF videos already this year. So right now we're just banking footage. It's the way we do things here on the research stream. If it's not a new release, that is. I think that I, whatever that's behind them I need to get to, don't I? Hello. 
you'll wait all day. Well, it'll eventually come, but it probably won't be until next year. Or unless I ha find a good time to do it sometime yeah, north, near the end of this year. Damn it. Shit, I guess that wasn't going to work either. Should have paid more attention. I just can't get past that guy to see what's behind him. How many streams do I think this will take? Oh, couldn't really tell you. This game is fairly long from what I recall of it. those guys go down there. They don't stop in front of this, do they? Yeah, they do. Fuck. I thought they might keep going. Oh, trapped again. Jesus, this is dumb. And I'm done too, I acknowledge. But I think the reason is it doesn't make much... It's nonsensical. The game's moon logic and alien people don't really make a lot of sense. I can't. Sh I had to recharge my shout. That's some bullshit. I was gonna try to lure both of them to that group, but no, it doesn't work that way. Hope I seen the constant Star Wars references. What's Discord Nitro Boost? Uh, the more people who boost the server, the more perks the server can unlock. Hey, Buckethead. That's really all it is. Alright. So those guys out of the way. Now we need to lure these guys over here. Over here. Forty hours, yeah, it's it's about the same probably it's a bit longer than FF ten, but probably about the same length as say FF seven. But I don't plan to you know dedicate every single stream I do for the next couple weeks of this game. It'll be something I play off and on. that guy next but is there anything here suspicious looking wall something not quite right about this wall you look closer but find nothing out of the ordinary perfectly normal wall hey buckethead if you're not playing ff12 at, at least four times speed you're doing well i do that when i'm having to grind through combat right now we're doing a puzzle where i need to like just you know pay attention trust me i'll be using that plenty Approach the wall. Yep, we. I was making the Star Wars jokes at the beginning of the stream chat. I, I'm aware that it's very similar to a Star Wars, only in a steampunk fantasy magic universe. Someone. We even someone even mentioned that earlier the description for this game is Star Wars, but Chewbacca is hot. That takes care of the secret passage. Now where is this treasure? Hey, watch it. Guess I'm not leave it's not leaving me much choice. Did he just tell a door to like watch its attitude? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, sure. Press the switch. You're a mechanical click from behind. Not sure what that did for me. You mean you didn't find Chewy attractive? Have you not seen the Christmas? Oh. <laughs> it's not Christmas. It's Life Day, alright? It's, it's a holy holiday to the, the Chewbacchians. And yes, I officially renamed them Chewbacchians. It's a better name. 
than Wookie. See you later, Raw Gamer. You have a good night's sleep. God, he, this is really is just Aladdin at this point, isn't it? He just isn't gonna get a happy genie. I don't know what I don't want to know what this, this is gonna show him doing when these with these sound effects. Huh. He's just a really noisy robber. That's it. My opinion on Mafia Two game was it's fine. I mean, it didn't blow my socks off, but it's fine. Another game. He's not lying. Fran, the magicide. Now then, I'll take that. No, you won't. Whoever I has that bunny girl mine. ass, now's your time to use it. That then emote. When I take it from you, it'll be mine. Uh. <sighs> Love them both. You know. Fraun is another yo, cosplay so opportunity for you, Surayu. The gods do not smile on us. I like it better that way. You obtain the goddess's magicite. Is that a bunny girl? It indeed is. They're basically the elves of this game. That was a weird cutscene, it just kind of ended and then we're in a different area. Oh well. Yeah, both, yeah, every character except Pinello and Vaughn are really good. They actually have motives and characters and they, they do things, and Vaughn is just kind of there to observe as they do things. That's really all he does. He's just a weird choice for the main character because he's not important at all. Look at him, he's like... Just something off. It's just un unhuman. Somehow more... Well, Titus actually had a point in his story. He actually, you know, did things. He had a reason for being there. He's confused. He's weird, but he, he had a point to be there. Vaughn doesn't. Vaughn just wants to be a sky pirate, and he gets caught up in all this. Yeah, I know the I know the history of why he exists. They they originally planned a different character to be main character, but he was older, and gamers didn't like that in Japan, so they added Vaughn into it. You're free, eh? That's quite an entrance. Impeccable timing. If I didn't know better. Say they were waiting all along. Stop running. I was saying that to rats earlier. End of the line. You have something that belongs to me. I wear children's jewelry on my hand, apparently. <laughs> Yo, Balthazar there is another one of the characters I could possibly cosplay if I ever wanted to. My hair even gets that same color if I get a lot of sunlight. Oh, that was not a manly yell. This is... You know, I'm not gonna do the pod racing line. It's not right proper. Quality voicing. Mm. 
Uh, it takes a very good voice actor to do an accurate yell, grunt, and yell or moan. Not easy, you know. What happened? A hover didn't just drop. It disappeared. Oh, forget it. Even if we could fly, the Ifrit's playing with fire, and I'd rather not get burned. Aren't we just above ground? We'll go the old-fashioned way. Not many Viera where you can. Your moans are great. I'll take your word it's for it. Gone. Sorry. Well, Fran is special in that she deigned to partner with a Hume. Oh? Like a sky pirate that chooses to steal through the sewers. Pirates? You're sky pirates? So you have an airship? It's both here. Listen, thief, Vaughn. If you ever want to see your home again, you'll do exactly as I say. Myself, friend. Both here is kind of like having Liquid Snake on your party, to be honest with you. Don't even think you get that you same kind of attitude sometimes. The thought never crossed my mind. Brother, I mean, Vaughn. Both here and friend join the party. But, yo, there you go. He's a rapid girl. Very long fingers. I've never noticed that before. And yeah, ass cheeks are also there. So let's take a look at the license boards. Oh, they got so many license points. He uses a gun, so... Which uses gun? Guns. Yo, machinist. Warrior who snipes their foes with deadly precision. I think we'll... Yeah, he's already got a gun equipped, so I think we'll just go with that. Did you have a bike? Just remember a specific moment where you were... You were scared, then use the emotional and sense memory to bring that experience to... What are you talking about? Confused. There we go. All right, uh, guns two, diamond armlet, leather cap. Let's gonna get the most expensive one. What's this? Measures, arc scale, multi scale, whatever that is. Cross scale. He apparently just uses, likes to do math. Is it about the voice acting scream? Oh, I see. I must have missed one of your earlier comments that would have made it clear. Uh, let's get the armor out of the way. Potions restore more HP. He'll save up the rest of his points for now. Bren uses a bow, so we'll go ahead and just make her party, her ability, whatever, uses a bow for right now. Uh, archer, yeah, she's an archer. Time of the furries is now, you say. Brave stance. Okay, what have we got? First aid, restore HP to one critical wounded ally. Hmm. Oh, there you go, Gotetsu. You finally showed up for the proper time for the bunny girl ass. P after taking damage. Uh, sure, that. Alright. Let's see if we got anything to equip to them. Oh, 
Also, uh, Space Cats, subscribe for your first time. Thank you, Space Cats. Goddess Magicite. Resist. Okay, you have no MP if you equip that, but you resist magic up by 13. I mean, does he uh, even have any spells? No, he doesn't have any magic anyway, so I guess I could go ahead and just equip that for right now. Definitely don't want it on Fran, though. Alright, good. Sexy bunny butt. Chad, why do you want to fuck animals so much? I have to ask. Are humans not enough? Do we have to defile all of God's creatures? Did you maybe watch Space Jam too many times? Oh, Vaughn, there's something I want to check before we set out. As I thought, you don't know much about gambits yet, do you? Listen carefully, I don't care to repeat myself. For each gambit, you can combine one action with a target for that action. Example, you can arrange that Cura be cast on an ally whose HP falls below 50%. Useful, that. Of course, one error of judgment, and you could fi well find yourself throwing punches at that same ally. If you have a good head on your shoulders, it should come easily enough. Hmm? I fear a more detailed explanation is in order. Ah, uh, here we go. We finally get to start programming our party. Rise of the Furries in chat? Hey. It just, I, I've noticed a trend in recent years that everyone wants to, yo, have sex with something other than a normal human. They gotta be something special, otherwise it's just tame and boring. Rabbit girl, cat girl, car girl, I don't know, you name it. Aliens. Game teaches you the basics of coding, essentially. Like you want to learn how to prog program a neural net? Let's get started. This is the Gambit screen, you can reach it from the party menu. To create a gambit, you need only select an action and a target for that action. Here, let me show you. I'll start by changing the action of one of my gambits. Now, whenever an ally gets hurt, I'll toss a potion his way. Charming, eh? Of course, that's sure a way to go through our stock of potions, so let's adjust the target to make sure things don't get out of hand. Now I'll only use potions when an ally's HP drops below 70%. That should be a little more bearable. Nothing to it, really. You can set a gambit's action to more or less any ability you have at your disposal. Yes, Dex, I know. List of available actions. Press A to exit. You have to unlock a lot of your gambit actions, too. List of available actions. Press A to exit. Targets aren't so simple. You'll have to pick up new ones from Gambit shops. That's right, you gotta buy... Yo... Nodes for your AI. Oh, this is where I really did not like any of this stuff. List of available targets. Press A to exit. But that isn't all. You can also prioritize, prioritize your Gambits. Allow me. Like, we made a single-player MMO, so here's how you, you know, you make friends. Gambit shops don't make any sense in any... Well, the, the, even this thing like, hey, this is how you order me to do things in, in combat. The Gambit in the first slot always takes priority. As it stands now, even if an ally's HP starts to fall, should there be foes near, I'll only attack. For which I could rightly be criticized, in general. It's better to prioritize healing before attacking. Vitality before violence, if you like. Oh, another thing. You can turn gambits off and on here from the gambit screen as well as from the battle menu. Of course, gambits won't do you much good if they're turned off. I think I actually, when I played through this game, I eventually turned gambits off and never used them. Still, discretion, or at least kept them very simple, is often the better part of Valor. If you need to beat a hasty retreat, try turning gambits off first. It's hard to fall back when your allies insist on picking a fight.
Did I mention you can have up to three gambit sets for each member of your party? Set a few, set a few to suit the situation or match your mood. Feel like cracking some skulls? Make a set. Rather indulge your magical fancies? Make a set for that too. Want to get comfortable with gambits first, though? Once you can feel it in your bones, you're ready. More than glad you could sub. Uh, gotta hit the hay. Hey, you have a good night, space cats. See you next time. Well, that's the long and short of it. I'll set my gambits as they were before we started. Feel free to change them later if you like. I'd like to come across new actions and targets, so don't be afraid to experiment with the new gambit combinations. But don't put all your faith in any one combination. With each passing day, the world finds new and exciting ways to kill a man. Be flexible. If you find yourself up against beasts that don't take well to fire, create a gambit to cast fire on nearby foes. Likewise, should we face a creature that uses poison, a gambit to ca cast poisona, on poison allies might just come in handy. Yo, Tetsu got his bunny butt. He's done that many times, though. A bit much to take in. Don't let it worry you. You're in good company. Yes, these sewers are thick with the bones of others who had similar difficulties. Let's be off then, shall we? You admit you use the presets in Dragon Age? Who these dead people be? Insurgents. Most like they thought to take advantage of a lax watch at the palace while the fate's on. To feed the good consul a length of steel for his supper. I should think Vane used to such hospitality. Clever. He used himself as the bait to draw them near and then sent in the air brigade. A fine bloody banquet. Hmm. I dare say I've saw See you later, Medley. If a dungeon's waiting for us at the end of the night, it had best have a change of wardrobe. We're almost done, too. <sighs> no, definitely don't expect me to do six hour streams with this one. It's gonna get exhausting. Map for the Gamber Synth, however that's pronounced. I forget how summons even work in this game, to be honest with you. I mean, we don't get any for a while, but I could not tell you how they work. Because I think they're a bit unique, aren't they? Anything new besides white magic? I do not. Am I streaming tomorrow? I should be. I have to record my lines for the video tomorrow, so we'll see how things go after that. But I... I, I, would, I would like to stream tomorrow. So I'm just going to go down and leave. You barely use the game. It's like I said, I didn't make use of them much either. It's probably why the game got ridiculously hard for me. Because it kind of expects you to. I don't know what it is about this developer, but he loves making overly... Com the, uh, the guy who, does, who directed this game directed a lot of other games, like Tactics and, you know, Vagrant Story. He loves making extremely over-complex compl systems that are hard to figure out and hard to have fun with, to be honest. It only really worked when he made a, you know, a turn-based tactical game like FF Tactics. Don't open it. I'm, I'm going to start needing translators for your remote language. Well, usually it's just something horny, but uh, so I, I can kind of get the gist of it. All these these sewer creatures ain't exactly thr enthralling. Kill bats and rats for like four hours. And pick up treasure worth exactly twenty gil. A leather breastplate, you say? I ain't gonna license that for you, do you, Bob? Final Fantasy Tactics, Vagrant Story, FF Fantasy Tactics, and he have a lot of those games. Anything involving Evil East, he's made. He's in charge of. He also made Ogre Tactics, too, I think. 
Which is what he made before getting involved with the Ivalice stuff. Never played any of those, though. I'm not mistaken, he also made that RPG Xenogears. I've never played Ogre Tactics, so I couldn't fight you even if I did believe that. I don't know if it's better than Final Fantasy Tactics. Sounds like one of them fanboy arguments that, you know, it's kind of pointless to get into in the first place. You really like this one? Like I said, there's a lot of this game I do like, but there's also a lot that I don't. I kind of put this game and FF8 in the same kind of category. It's got a lot of stuff that I like, but there's also stuff that really drags it down for me. I'm a respectable male specimen. I refuse to call you trash. Well, it's also it's a lot quicker to say don't open. I mean, there's only so many syllables I can just repeatedly use over and over again. Would you like to be called trash? I mean, I can oblige you. The game is a net neutral. Yeah, I would, I would actually say that's probably close. You know, net neutral sounds like a good way of describing it. <clears throat> it does just enough to make me angry, but also does enough to make me like, eh. I'm... But it's also just kind of forgettable as its worst thing. I like my memory of a lot of this game is very, very hazy. Like locations and like certain events. In comparison to other FF games I've played. We need to heal. Before we fight Frog. All I remember is that they made Sid. Yeah, you know, Sid in this game is evil. I recall that bit. But we shouldn't really talk about that. That's potential spoilers. Oh, technically, both is both of you know this guy is kind of like a Sid himself in a lot of ways. Is that a toad or a tadpole? It's got a tail on the back of it. Hello, Dex. You gonna sleep on my feet or what? Dex is the kind of cat that takes forever to get comfortable. Where am I going? There's like sleeping toads over there. Let's kill the bats first. You haven't been interested in FF since FF9? Did, did FF7 Remake do nothing for you? Because I stopped being interested in it for a while after 10. Like, 10 was the last one I ever gave a damn about. Oh, he just angered the frog. Deck sounds like you. Uh, I'm also like that. I can't get comfortable. It takes I just do a lot of tossing and turning. already. Yeah. 13 is the last FF you beat. You went into it with zero expectations, so it was okay. I feel bad for anyone who's 13, who's FF13 was their first game. That would give you such a weird impression of the overall series. It may be a bad one. Well, not maybe a bad one. Well, I guess there, I guess there are people who really like thirteen, but oof. I'm not one of them. Thirteen was more of a kid's anime. I don't. 
I guess. It does have that feel with some of the dialogue. Being incredibly savvy. I really, I think, I, I wonder if like, there was a lot of compromises made during that game and it completely changed from what they wanted to do. It has that feel to it. Like it wasn't what they wanted to make, but just how it ended up. Maybe, maybe in a different universe, FF13 was actually really good. What's over to the exit? Almost there. They said they were inspired by Western Gion. Yeah, I've heard about the Call of Duty line. That's why it was more linear. But I still wonder if they had like better plans for it that just failed to come through in the end. Because it had the spark of a pretty good idea of like these machine gods and like a, a floating moon where people live and they don't go to the surface. That's good stuff. That's good fantasy stuff. But the, the, the execution of it was just so goddamn poor. <clears throat> and then they didn't help themselves with the two sequels that were made on low budget. Why all the things COD, every game was chasing COD at the, at back in like the early 2000s. I mean, the late tw the late 2000s and the early, early 2010s. Everything wanted that COD money. See up your skirt. I'm sorry, but you know you can. Oh, she's wearing shorts. Never mind. Don't get your hopes up, Vaughn. You're not the hero here. And our troubles with them. Well, attack, Vaughn. There you go. Magic. Yeah, use a use a fire on them. Like you. Use a technic. Uh, first aid on your on Devon. where the biggest weakness of this game is the combat system. It's so just tame to watch it and it has an right? action. Thank you. Um I'm Vaughn. And this is Balthier and hey What's your name? Amalia. Lies. Amalia, huh? Nice to meet you. There were others with me. I'm sorry. No. Huh? Oh, now isn't that impressive? Don't get any ideas. I said it's mine. I'm afraid the jury's still out on that one. You stole that? Yeah. Have you finished? When the guards don't report in, they'll come looking for us. If they aren't already. You should come with us. Better than being by yourself. Very well. What's wrong with her? <sighs> you have a lot to learn before we even get started on your thievery. What's that mean? It means you're stupid. Amalia's hair looks a lot like Raiden's. Which is your normal girly girl style hair. I, I, I mean, Raiden just had long hair and it was spikier too. The situation but requires there is a little bit of resemblance to Raiden, I guess. Though it be from thieves. I shall accompany you until we find my companions. No longer. Let's think of her as a guest then. Unlike Fran or myself, our guest probably won't be taking orders from anyone anytime soon. And she'll leave when she pleases. So we keep to our affairs and she to hers. 
I doubt we'll find her wanting in valor, being such an upstanding member of the insurgents. Resistance. Molia joins the party as a guest. The game really felt it had to explain that to. What are we waiting for? Don't open. You have the you have the most interesting emotes. You realize that? Four emotes for a crying seal. Unlike other members, guests can only use certain actions and abilities. You missed the FF7R soundtrack, yeah. Well, this game's got good music, but well, they 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 kind of went beyond in the beyond beyond the pale for the FF7 remake. Take crystal here somewhere, isn't there? Did they really need to explain that? The they felt they felt the case. They made this game overly complex, so they feel the need to explain over explain everything. Will not be able to leave this area easily. You may wish to save your game in a new file. I'll be fine. I'm actually thinking since uh, Twitch is going to be giving us more emotes on the tier two and tier three subs, I'm thinking of making like since there's only a few people who are even subbed the tier two, I might make those in like a gigantic emote that someone can use. Haven't decided on that one yet, though. <clears throat> in my Far Cry vid, is there commentary about the native girl wanting a white baby? No, not specifically. That that point exactly. I just say one of the endings is like a snuff film, and get, get it gets the point across a, lo a little bit easier and a lot quicker with a lot fewer words. See, brevity is key, Chad. If you ever want to like focus on being funny, find a way to use as few words as possible. What's a snuff film? Oh. Oof. Uh, <clears throat> it's a uh, urban legend of porn where people would be killed during that said porn video. They're not actually real as far as I'm aware, but it's got a, it's got a, you know, it's got a name for itself. Make you use, girl. Use a uh, fire on it. Only fire hurts it. Guilty of seeing such a film? Well, what? Don't admit that online. That's it's not good. You're super. This is your favorite FF game, and you're super excited to watch me play it. Well, thank you, Cyboy. It's gonna be a long playthrough, so you'll get many chances to watch it. Use a fire attack. She's the only one that's really effective against these things. I like fighting pudding. Am I having fun? Uh, mostly, yeah. But it's funner because I'm, you know, streaming it. I'm getting to talk with you guys and explain things and, you know, have conversations. You're gonna fall asleep. See you later, James. Oh, you're not actually leaving. You're just sobering up. Super flan. Super pudding. Oh no, it's dead. Never mind. Melted pudding. Your first FF game was FF1? Did you intentionally go back and play the oldest one you could find, or were you actually... Is that just... You, 
the first one that you were you were there when it came out is what I meant to say. <clears throat> Congratulations. You think I've done snuff films? You have a weird impression of me. I mean, I've definitely murdered things in video form before, but I've never done anything sexual with them first. And by murdering things in video form, I'm talking about video games. Don't take that the wrong way. Now, the victory fanfare, I think, only happens after boss fights, if that actually counted as a boss fight. You haven't gotten a haircut in three months. I had mine cut a little while ago. There was a lot to cut off. Eye drops on Balthier. And then Amalia. We're almost out of the sewers. It feels like we've been down here for ages. Now we gotta go over there. A few more tunnels. Your favorite is FF6? FF6 is excellent. It's got some really great uh, characters and enemies. And it's got Kefka. It also has one of the best uh, finales. You know, build up to finales in any FF game. I, at least I think it does. Because the villain actually wins, and then you have to come back after he wins. So it's like a nice little twist. Like you had to reassemble a party because he fucked you up so hard. I've always liked that about it. I should probably check my license boards. Uh... Measures. Adds an additional gambit. Oh yeah, you have to unlock more gambit slots by unlocking it on the license board too. <sighs> this will grab that, why not? Measures one. Okay. Guilt, guilt measure. What do the measures do? Does anyone remember? I kind of forget what those even do. Who is my favorite FF character? It's kind of a mix between either Sabin or uh, what was the main of uh, Terra? Ser Sabin and Terra were good, but it, that's that's excluding Kefka, who I really also enjoyed. Whatever measure it is, I'll grab it. Your FF spirits within is your all-time... Do you now? When did I say that? I think you're making up your facts for the wiki. This is action time by 10%. I could be good reducing action time. I don't need bow three anytime soon, so I think we'll grab the that. I just like Terra because she turned into a pink alien. It's like oh, that's nice. Ocean just throw All right, good. And then we got Vox and Poisona, whatever. The I have to buy those spells first, though. Ah, oh, I need more, more gambit slots. Why is Libra all the way up here? 
How do you even get to those? They're not even connected to the board. Yeah, I got some new equipment. Let's take a quick look. No, sh no shields yet, though. Their breastplate. That's cool. That's a thing. One hundred one or FF twelve? Are you asking me which one I prefer to play? Uh, well, in terms of what you know, it's exciting to play. It's one hundred one is an action game. Whereas this is like, you know, a program AI FF. It's kind of, this is a weird FF game. It, it's always been really weird. Every once in a while you get those weird FF games that have weird combat systems. Like Final Fantasy 2, 8, and this, specifically. Like when you look at this combat happening, it's not exciting. Even fans of it have to admit that. Give me the eyeballs. I think we're almost out of this this place. I keep saying that, but I want it to be true. At least the quickenings are cool. Those are like the limit breaks in this game, aren't they? I don't think we can use any of them just yet. It's later. It's later stuff. Two was weird. Uh, wasn't two the one that introduced like the the combat? You had to like do certain things to like get better at it. From what I recall. Or was that three? I know one of them had like a weird system for like leveling. I never played it, so I could be wrong. That's just what I would read about it. Any plans on streaming FF10 too? I'm at some point, I guess I'll have to. But like I said, I'm not. It's not really in my interest right now. All right, we're almost back. I'm not even gonna bother fighting the frog. Why? Right, they wanted to fight the frog. Good AI. I like their gambits. You looked it up and two was weirder than you remember. I guess it's just been that long. Okay. Like I said, I never played it. I only know about what I read about its combat system and people said it was kind of bizarre. Who was the... I don't even know much about two. What was two even about? Was it like they're like an emperor or something that goes to hell and you have to kill him after he comes back? Because he kills Satan or something like that? She's blinded again. Good. Rebel force fighting against an evil empire ruled by an emperor. Sounds yeah. The, FF one and two did not really have much in the way of plot and character. You barely remember the combat, let alone the plot. It's been maybe eight years since you played it. You know, I kind of wish uh, Square would do, uh, maybe some of you are familiar with that Trials of Mana game that just got remade and updated and bring it into current gen, which is also from an old 2D uh, RPG Square made. I kind of wish they would give that kind of treatment to some of their older FF games. Like they did with, not, not the full on massive remake like they did with 7, but just something on the same caliber as Trials of Mana. That'd be pretty good. Maybe they'll use that as an experiment to do that. I need to go over here or not, but I might as well check it out while I'm here. 
Yeah, I know I know there are some DS remakes of some of those early ones, but not quite what I'm asking about. I'm talking about specifically something more like Along Trials of Mana, which is a, a bit more complex than what those got. through this way. Sewer, a sewer horse. <laughs> sure, why not? That 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 doesn't look out of place. I'm glad my only magic spell is fire. We got a potion. That's I kind of wanted a bit more. Nothing to steal. It had nothing but a potion on it. Gotcha. Let's see what I can make someone else do. Uh, no, nothing to steal there. Yeah, she's got another fire, which I don't want to use on that. No one has anything. Sewer whores? No, horse. I mean, it could be a slutty horse, I don't know. Uh oh. I like a new party member. No, bring him back to life. Come back to life! You useless you person, you. You know. Both ears cooler, anyways. Why am I using him? We'll have Vaughn heal himself. And Ash is also going to need the healing, isn't she? Or Amalia, I mean. Oh, someone subbed? Did I miss it? Uh, who subbed? Oh, Cyboys. Thank you for your sub, man. Thank you for pointing out that I have my volume on my game really... I mean, my system really low because my games are really loud. So sometimes I don't hear the sound if they go off. But uh, my thanks, man. Enjoy those emotes. Oh, I can't do anything but attack. That's all I got. I have to keep healing, though. why I'm healing the lady I can't even control. I'm starting to remember why I really got tired of this game. 
the boss fights can just be... Even when they seem easy, you start doing nothing but healing yourself. Oh. Okay, it just despawned and respawned, I guess. Kill it. All right. I just wanted an oat bag. Hello, a bl obvious villain. Hey, you don't know that yet. He might be a decent fellow. Better than a common assassin. These people have done nothing. Release them. What are you doing? Don't interrupt me. I'm thinking. I mean, he doesn't, you know, there's definitely more evil looking people than, you know, that dude. Wait! Where did you think know you what he was going? doing? You have to let him go! You have to! Canelo! Sorry. That dinner will have to wait. You know, I, I think he you. can really easily get out of those, those manacles. Leave him alone! Hold on to this for me, would you? Just until I bring Vaughn back. On your feet! Aren't we? It's Balthier, my brother. What does that Philander think he's doing? I was to kill Balthier, not those aggravated Imperials. He, well, he's actually not the leader of the Empire. There's a he's the son of the leader of the Empire. Oh, we're in the Final Fantasy universe, it seems. Oh, no. I brought you some of those flowers you like. Actually, did any of these characters Come make it into those. Kingdom Hearts? I don't recall any of them ever getting in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, not even these characters. Nice. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a slight. Are. Remember? The king. Did you? W were you really a part of it? Even if... Even if you were, Captain Bosch must have tricked you into it. Our brother's a bit of an invalid after he got stabbed. Only Tetsuya designed characters? Well, that's not entirely true. Uh, there was that uh, Final Fantasy VI character who made it into two. The gambler guy, I forget his name. His eyes? Oh, you're just noticing that everyone has, you know, bad plastic surgery eyes? Yeah, it's a, it's a trademark of this character designer. Square had to fight to get him in. Yeah, Setzer was his name. Only characters from the Nomura, the Nomura verse, could be in his magnum opus of Kingdom Hearts. And then he later on decided in three, like you know what, I don't want any of my characters in it. You're awake. Where are we? Prison. Wait, VV wasn't a Nomura character either. More a dungeon. So that's another really one. All the same.
And VV was a bit more prominent than Sensor. They had to fight to get VV in as well. You know, I don't think the up higher ups of Square would have to fight no more about anything. They just say, hey, do it. Jump at every little thing down here and you'll wear yourself out. It's not even a proper dungeon. They just sealed off the bottom level of the fortress. Take a look around. We're not the first they've thrown down here. Where's Fran? She's off trying to find us a way out. Yeah, but most of the Final Fantasy characters didn't have big roles in it. Remember what curiosity killed? Just a friendly word of advice. This is all the water we've got. I'd save your strength if I were you. <sighs> now, Bina Dungeons. There's a big opening in that the roof of that dungeon. Why would you keep your water in a bag? Well, I don't think they had a choice in how that it was given to them. This prison is exactly like the one that Bruce Wayne was thrown into by Vane. It's a big open area that they, they, all the prisoners share. And no way out. But water pouches are a real thing too. Sometimes it's all you got is a leather bag on you. It's going to be more durable than glass. You have to give it that much. Well, chat, I think we're going to call it there. That was an extra, that was a five hour stream when I only intended playing four, but it took us a little bit longer to get through that than I thought. Regardless, we got through the first part of the game, so we're good. Good, good, good completion rate. Whew. So, you guys have been great tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to stream tomorrow, and if I do, hopefully you guys will have time to show up and say hello. You know, wish, wish me well. I'm not sure if I'll be playing this or something else. We'll see. Might play something else. Might go back to playing 101. Might change it up from day to day. Who knows? But I hope to, hope to stream again tomorrow and entertain you all. Uh, thank you for any bits tonight or any subs or gift subs. And thank you to my mods as well. And then thank you to the viewers. You've been excellent tonight. Very chill. Very funny. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. If you haven't followed me yet here on Twitch and you're new, considering hitting that follow button up there, if you want to join my Discord, you can scroll down below and click on the Discord button, or one of my mods can post an invite to the Discord link if they're still here. And you can continue the conversation you're having right now with all your new friends. Anyways, I'm gonna take off. I gotta get to bed. It's late. I'll hopefully see you all tomorrow. Until then, stay safe. Good night, everyone.